overcome others' armies without fighting is the best of skills. Best of skills. Best of skills. The art of war.
the youth, them of today. Their role in this society, the part they're gonna play. It's all about the youths, the youth, them of today. The future for tomorrow, they have to lead the way. Go to get a job, a job that is well paid. Suddenly they find out that they just don't have a grade. Lack of qualifications can bring them misery. They have to do some packing in a dirty factory. The bosses start to talk to them like they're a little child. The youths then they don't like it and their blood it starts to boil. Disrespect and racial insults get the youth them mad. Tell the boss about himself and where to stick his job. We need some more role models, some more black businesses. We need more black professionals and more black industries. So the youths can see the reality of what they can achieve. Capable of anything, all they need is to believe. It's all about the youths, the youth them of today. Their role in this society, the part they're gonna play. It's all about the youths, the youth them of today. The future for tomorrow, they have to lead the way. One of the biggest corruptors of the youths, that is the TV. Illusion and confusion passed off as reality. If you don't have the latest clothes, then you are a nobody. Brainwashing their minds just to make people money. I wish the youth would wise up. I wish that they could see. They are the fashion models for the whole community. So instead of boosting Ilfiga, Nike and Versace, they could design and make their own clothes and make their own money. Glorifying violence, to me that is a crime. But Hollywood and television do it all the time. They're putting negativity into the youth, their mind. Changing peaceful, loving youths into the gangster kind. They know the youths love music, take advantage of the fact. They're killing them with slackness, killing them with gangster rap. They think to be in fashion, they have to act like that. And before they know it, boom, they're addicted to the crap. It's all about the youths, the youth, them of the day. The role in this society, the part they're gonna play. It's all about the youths, the youth them of today. The future for tomorrow, they have to lead the way. The youths are not the problems, the youths are the victim. The victim of society's political system. Even when they're innocent in court, nobody listen. Black youths, they are more likely to be sent to a prison. We must listen to the youths. We must listen to their needs, their desires and their aspirations. Then we can proceed. Instead of spending all the time to change society, we must give the youths... Yes, good day. This is the Stepping Razor. The Art of War. We're there with you on next Thursday. We're going there till 5.45. This is very... Well, every, you know, so every week we have to say the same thing. Jamaica is never without a, a moment. Every week, you have something happening at Jamaica. Believe you me. Every week. But we have to figure out now about these Wolipa. People with their shop and people just come and shoot them and kill them. Or oh, oh, that just come up, so. Oh, what if I saw you? And, and, and the wickedest one is the little youth with them kill. I mean, me, me not ask, it's what kind of people them that do them something. Like. And last night, we hear of a next one in a state, near state town there where them just kill, kill a, a, a sister there and shoot a next relative. And me not, me not understand how them things they go that way there. I mean, what, what, what is it that is happening? That these poor people with guns are rob poor people when they have nothing. Or a man have a gun and him can't afford to buy food. I don't understand that. What? Him rent the gun or him, him, him lease the gun to get money to buy food? Because I told a prayer that it's not a go on. I don't understand how. I mean, the shooting them. I mean, we don't know, we don't know. And it's like man who's a fire shot now, like him no business, you know, he's like he might look for one somebody and when him can't catch quack and catch him shot. So he might look for you and can't find you, he's gonna look for your family, like some little Italian mafia tile 
mafia style thing. You know them way there. Anyway, what they are with you? I must say, believe you, may I tell you, I'll, I'll say it last night and I'll say it again, you know. Me I watch the Prime Minister on the television and I tell you the truth, I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for the Prime Minister. I never know I could have feel sorry for the Prime Minister in Rasta. I feel sorry for you, sorry for you. When I hear what she has said, and know where we know, and where everybody else knows in Jamaica, and she said she never know. <laughs> me I tell you, somebody I carry a wide Rasta. I wonder if she want to give me a job for, 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 for round up them NHD people and lock them up. For lie and wickedness, you know what I mean? And then them turn the prime minister, make the prime minister look like she an idiot. I mean, no, she she's not an idiot, you know. The prime minister, I don't know, idiot at all, but she have people that write down things and I give her. And people not tell her things. And because them side up with one another and not tell her certain things. When she set up in front of parliament and in front of the public, she has said some things where we don't know, so where she has said no go so already. <laughs> I tell you. That's why the opposition have so much argument. The opposition have woolly argument, you know, because I mean, I understand how she come now and say, she never knew nothing about this seal until last month. And this thing had done for last year. Last year, them do this thing, and she said she never knew about it until... Some, it's either somebody I care why that she had to lie. And me refuse to feel that she had to lie. Me feel that somebody had to carry her wide. This is a one time you that say she she need to get all of the NHT people them. All the people them are clean out the office and fire the whole of them, believe you me. Because she she look she look I mean I don't know she she don't, she don't come like it's a prime minister attack. It really not come like it's a prime minister attack. That's why I say, oh the hell them get her in that situation there. But she could have made so much pronouncement and pronouncement and them no different. Terrible, terrible thing them do to a Rasta. Believe you me. There's no forgiveness for what them do to the lady. Mama P, I think you should have fired the whole of them. You should have fired the whole of them, Rasta. Because they make you look like an idiot on the television. In front of Parliament. Yeah, Uh, we have a combat to the Puku Kapuku song. <laughs> Puku Kapuku song. R.E.F.M. Thought provoking. Always smoking. Lyrics like a bazooka. You are listening to Muta Baruka. Yes, you're listening to the man called Nesbet. Undelele, me I'll tell you. Yes, Nesbet, you are going sweet in our one. Yeah. You know, say the government sell pizza land out of St. Catherine. Who oh, didn't know that? To a Florida company. Yes, them go behind me back and sell another pizza in Jamaica. A Florida based company is to purchase lands done by all then St. Catherine, which it intends to use for housing development and commercial facility. Cabinet approved the sale of 142.616 hectares of land, which is currently owned by SCJ Holdings Limited, a Jamaica land management company, to Riverhead Homes LLC for. Four hundred and forty six million dollars. Riverhead Homes LLC filed as a Florida limited liability in the state of Florida on Monday, January the second, January the ninth, twenty twelve, and is approximately two years old as recorded in documents filed with Florida Department of State. The filing is currently active as of the last date, data refresh, which occurred on Sunday, September the first, twenty thirteen. Another piece of Jamaica gone again. 142 hectares of land sold for housing development and commercial facility. Jamaica now owned a piece of the land there again. Never. Because, you know, when them people they sign contract with people, them things is forever. Okay. Yeah, this is the step.
I step in razor, right? I have to make sure you know, can I get mixed up at all. All right, this is the step in razor. Well, I tell you, <laughs> Christmas I call I'm a lover. <laughs> okay, all right. We have to be yourself, man. When come out the IRF, we have to be yourself. All right. So we need to talk about this ADHD thing, and you know, say, all right. Them say NHT buy the property. Them never buy the copyright and the out of many. Them never buy the 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 the, the idea. Them never buy that. Them just buy the property. When the property also include the land where this facility depend. Yet still, we are told that. Whether or not they're going to call it out of many or not again, because we know the brethren who own the the rights to that. Lenny Little White, Lenny Little White own the rights to the old out of many idea, the concept. So I don't think him actually sell them the concept. What happened is that the land was bad, but it included the building where the concept happened. But the problem with it is that them say them are going to revise the concept. And Lenny Little White has said, well, well, I don't know if it's him said. Because them say they are going to spend an additional 20 million to acquire the rights, the intellectual property. So the intention is really to restructure up the same concept. Now the Prime Minister never know that. The Prime Minister never know that. We did don't know that for a long time. Based upon of, uh, the reports we are going And based upon of, uh, where even the opposition has said so now that them claim so them buy the land, but them never buy the rights to the idea of the, the outer many. But now it is now being asked, and it's 20 million. If them give Lenny Little White another 20 million dollars, them can have the rights, the copyright to the old uh, uh, thing. And that is what they intend to do. And it's a lie them I tell now because they might try and make we feel say, which is that the Prime Minister say, that it's just really the land them buy and the land NHT is not working outside of its the, the conditions where NHT is set up for. The NHT Set up forget land for build house man. So they might try to twist around the thing you now and I say, look here, we never we never did say we now go build no house pan the property, you know. But then how come the NHT are going in a business now? For have a tourist attraction. That is where the thing the, the line get drawn now. And them have the Prime Minister stand up in front of Parliament and attack these things which you don't know about. Which you don't know about. And it's very disturbing. Because I see them where in a the, the, the one long time scandal where them did have. And when them go to Mrs. Miller, she said she do not know nothing more that they must ask the, 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 the party. So right away you now, as she as the leader for the party, you know, she cannot be asked any questions because she had already designated certain people. To deal with those things. Now I know that she's the head of all of them. She's the head of the NHT and every one of them. And if the NHT cannot buy land for a hundred and ninety odd million dollars and then I decide to go spend another hundred and million dollars for, for re revitalize the tourist attraction. And she do not know about these things. So it's who a carrier wide. Who a carrier wide? Believe you me, somebody a carrier wide and she needs to find out this who a carrier wide now because may I tell you now, Mrs. Miller, it look bad. It look bad, Rasta, that the Prime Minister, the head of the NHT, the head of the government, the government buy something and for 200 million dollars and I was spending another 100 million dollars plus another 20 million to. And the Prime Minister don't know about it, Rasta. So I wonder if a friendship business are going on. It looks like some money I'll underline. Hey, we need to check out all the money thing they got to, you know. All the money, because them all the time, what they spend this and money for that and this and money for that. And what we hear from the show, not no go so, you know. 
the, 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 it seems we, we, we have a thing I say um we could read what she said. Sims Miller, while responding to questions gave last week by opposition leader Andrew Oldness. And you want to see the one, the one, Andrew Oldness, all of them things, and they look up like shark, you know. <laughs> you think they're not glad with them things. Said she had been informed by the Board of Energy that it was mulling the possibility of opening an educational, cultural, heritage, and tourist attraction at the site. That means that, that them tell her. Quote, I have instructed that they should explore ways of using the property for social and physical infrastructure to enhance the quality of life and for the enjoyment of NHD contributors, Jamaicans and visitors. I have also instructed that the NHD look at the tourism potential of the area to examine ways to maximize returns on the investment, the Prime Minister said. She said, however, that the NHD, quote, is not the Ministry of Tourism. They cannot run a tourist a tourism project on that property because they are not the Ministry of Tourism. Simpson Miller revealed that the NHT purchased the Orange Grove property in Trelawney and not the outer many experienced brand. Yet still, we are told that they're looking twenty million dollars more for do it and a hundred million dollar for revitalize the thing. Who are carry who wide? Believe you me, somebody Somebody are carrying the people them wide and the prime minister. It's a whole heap of things that carry the people wide with you know. Because I them sell piece of land so now. You know, send Catherine to a foreign investor, Florida, a fl Florida company. Them sell 142 hectares of land in a St. Catherine for build up house and commercial facility. We hear that they go build a, a Portmore style. <laughs> Listen to what I say you now. They are going to build up a Portmore style community in a St. James. We up at the top of St. James, so they are going to build up a. They are plan to build up a Portmore style facility up there. So you think to them easy? Them not easy at all. Anyway, we are going to take the news here so and come back because so much things in the news. And a terrible thing to you know, terrible things in the news. Oh, well, some good news. Oh, well, we don't can't sit the news, the newsroom can't sit up a good news news. <laughs> where well, we just appear good news, but it's like a good news news. Here is the good news news. <laughs> Who has a good news news? Anyway, click it. Good afternoon. I am Nikita Sterling with the local and international headlines. The National Environment and Planning Agency, Nepal, has made two material changes to the proposed project for the construction of two breakwater structures to protect Negril's seven-mile white sand beach. Crystal Lynn of the National Works Agency says there will be no dredging of the South Negril River and the staging area or construction campsite will be removed after construction. Ms. Lynn says the changes came out of concerns expressed by residents and business operators at a meeting held in July to present the environment impact assessment for the Negril Breakwater Project. Ms. Lynn was addressing a public consultation at the Negril Community Center this week. Jamaica will join the rest of the world to observe World Diabetes Day tomorrow, November 14, under the theme Healthy Living and Diabetes. Acting Director of Health Promotion and Protection Branch at the Ministry of Health, Dr. Tamu Davidson Sadler, says the government has been working through its national strategic plan to prevent and control diabetes. She told GIS that the first strategy is prevent risk factors such as tobacco and alcohol use and physical inactivity. Dr. Davidson Sadler added that other strategies include early detection and treatment for persons with the disease to prevent further complications and continuous tracking and monitoring. In news overseas, clinical trials to try to find an effective treatment for Ebola patients are to start in West Africa next month. The medical charity Doctors Without Borders, which has been helping lead the fight against the virus, says three of its treatment centers will host three separate research projects. Meanwhile, 
Liberia's President Ellen Johnson Sirleaf has lifted the state of emergency imposed in the country. She warned this is not because the fight against Ebola is over. It marks the progress being made in the country where the weekly number of new infections is falling. Finally, Islamic State has released an audio tape, it says, was recorded by its leader, Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi, days after reports that he had been killed or injured. In the recording released via social media, the speaker says IS fighters will never stop fighting, even if only one soldier remains. Correspondents say the recording appears authentic and recent. Yes, Queen Ifrika, brand new from our CD, brand new CD, brand new Jones, here goes. Yes, it's called Queen Ifrika. You know, we are talking about all the money where the government get, and the more the money where them now spend. Because we see so much money I got through the coffers of these people. And we don't say, oh, where them are doing it? You understand? Because the road them don't look no different to me. I mean, we have built highway, but I know, I know, I know, I know Jamaica have built the highway. And some Chinese people have built the highway them. So what I'm to the money where them get for fixed road and all. Oh, me, 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 me not really see no difference in the road structure. I mean, I feel no difference in the people them thinking. If you say, why well, them life better you right now because we are past the IMF. I see it say. We are past the IMF. So not there for everything nice and all. We not see that. The only thing we make the people them feel little good are the little music we are playing at night time. Or at day time. Or at morning time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because if it was the music, you know. I will leave about different things that happen to. So we have to give thanks to the music. Because we see, say, once I want to learn for the music, them and have such a f- fun time that if you do it depressing, if you know, say, you try to suppress your, your, your reality. Because when you know, say, when the party's over, the light gone down and you go home back, you see your misery, you know. But we don't see nothing, nothing really in you know, the society, can make we say. You know, they must say crime gone down, but tell me which day you know you hear about somebody shot somebody in a Jamaica. Believe you me you now. Be honest with yourself. Crime gone down, but every day you get up. Last night, a sister in a mind lose her sister. When you can sit in, lose her sister. The day before, you hear about a little 16 year old youth. I was 16, I was a 10 year old youth, a man going. I mean, crime gone down. I tired to tell them, you know, say, the only way we have to accept the crime going down, you know, if it go pre, pre-independence. If the crime go pre-independence, meaning, say, the amount of killing over it are before independence. Me, we say crime going down. But if it not gone pre-independence, you know, crime not gone down. Because the fears of you know, the people, them right now, if you set up a shop, you have to fret. You have man who play domino a shop now, right now. You have to make sure it's a woman play the domino with not, him, not related to somebody who did trouble somebody out there. Because it come like that, the man, the man do know. They must say, boy, right now, you did trouble somebody out there. And you gone somewhere, me can't find you. When you go, go, go shoot one of your friends, they shoot one of your family. So you could have sit on a roadside and play on some domino no one. Innocent, you just sit on there. Not knowing, say, one of your relatives. The this a man round the corner and the man can't find your relative and just come fire chat by you, so a man has about crime gone down and that for sure how what them doing working. What they don't do not working. It's not working. Because the people them don't feel no different. No different. So me don't know. Me not see people, me not see more. We don't see more, um, what do call it, employment, I generate. We don't see no more production, I go on. 
than usual. The, the, the production activity was supposed to make the country move forward. And we are trying to suggest to them, say, we must plant some rice. Plant some rice and stop thief the people their money and go about to not buy this and not buy that. And build up out or NHT people and take out money out of your, your, your pay every month for NHT. And you can't get no house. When your time comes to get the house, you still can't get it. And the government now give a certain portion of money. They might give up a threshold where them say, Well, I, at least they might give you, and you have to go find the rest. When them doing all of them money there, the NHT have mil billions of dollars. And to them find themselves with billions of dollars, now they might go spend it wildly. They say, All right, they could buy out a place and turn it in a tourist resort and go in a tourism, no? And the government have buy it. Hey, watch out. The government so make deal with people for buy some Jamaican, you know. Sell it to America. Maybe I will put Jamaican and I like it bought by America, you know. Them get citizenship. <laughs> you say, yeah, man. Government, sell some Jamaican. I will put Jamaican and get buy, buy, buy the Jamaican, buy, buy America. Them can't get citizenship for go to America. I live for the dog ass, I live for the dog ass. Believe you me. I will can't go, go up on the, the, the Mars. Can them have a flight I left for go Mars next month, next, next year, yeah. Yeah, you have 70, 70, 70 thousand people who booked a flight already. You think them easy? 70 thousand people booked the flight for go Mars already. You, know? you have some people book flight. I think I, Mr. Branson said 250 thousand dollars for go to the moon. You think them easy? And them go up, they go dig out the moon and dig out. Little more them go up on the moon now. You look on the moon full night. I see some people are walk up and dog. You see shadows of people on the moon. And the people are easy though. Know? Man just carry honey up there and just have a honeymoon. And we dog us all. I get buy out and buy out and buy out. Government. We just stop selling out the people them birthright, man. We not sell out the people them birthright, little by little. And I'm not little by little neither. It's so obvious. Chinese come. Them sell out. This one come, them sell out. And how much more land them sell where we don't know about? How much more land in a Jamaica them sell to foreigner? I mean, I thought we sell to Jamaica now. Sell to foreigner where we don't know about. That's that happening now. That's that happening. And really and truly now, all of the money where they are, they are, they are, they are getting now, things were related to Jamaican people. We are talking about a long time now. We are talking about a concert hall. We can present the music in a manner like where we artists, as cool, cool as you see, we look. When we go to certain countries, the places that I mean, I talk about somebody else, I talk about me personally, the places where I stand up and I read poetry, the halls, them. And the, the, the theaters that we start up and read poetry. May I tell you, there's nowhere in Jamaica that Jamaican music can be presented in its right and proper way. How much time we have to say that? And we not stop saying it, you know. You could have bad blood, we not stop saying it, you know. Them building sports centers all over the country and the sports centers end up to becoming musical places the biggest one is the one on a Trilani say all my brethren has to block I try to keep some reggae thing in it and them, them say them now nah, alone for the certain things in it them have it there and the only big thing keeping at that thing is jazz and blues festival if it wasn't jazz and blues festival that place would be oh gosh man Look on the one up at up arena. Look on arena. Look on the arena. Occasionally, you see some car car exhibition or some exhibition keep inside us. So. The one next door to the sports center. A peer music thing going in the sports center. Look on the stadium where them build up a Sligo field. Rotten. See a sports center that now. So we have to the music center, the music center for the music capital, reggae capital of the world, Jamaica. We keep saying it, we keep saying it, and we keep saying it. Me and my brethren, them sit down, 
we work out the details of a music center. We have, we even have a suggested land, a place in Kingston where this thing could happen. We, we could have old spacious car parks, something like the Hollywood Bowl. For those of us who know about the Hollywood Bowl, we could have, we, we have sat down, worked it out to the T. We work it out behind my bridge in. And the government, they also know. And I build this and I build that and I thief people money and all them something there. And them can't see the necessity. If them don't have the money, why them don't go beg like how them love beg? Because this music all would contribute to Jamaican, the, 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 the way you call the, the look. <laughs> The, you know, if you just know, say you have, a, you have a music hall, call it one of the artists, them near man. I mean, we don't, we don't plaster Bob Marley near already, so we, we suggest we call Bob Marley, but call it some of the artists near man, some great Jamaican who was in the music, maybe Virgin. Call it Virgin Theater or Virgin, or call it whatsoever, but we need. To facilitate a concert all. I mean, say concert, I'm not talking about like liquor theater, you know. Liquor theater and go hold about 600 people. We are talking about a all we can hold like 3,000 people inside, right? Seated. And them kind of all we are talking about with good acoustics, where you don't have to move the acoustic. You don't have to move the speaker every time you have to keep a function. And you can't keep dancing there by, by just moving, turning around the chair them. You have a front part where you can hold at least a thousand people and dance inside there. Eh? It is not enough that you use a car park, a car park, up a stadium. Because Mr. Bush Stewart buy out the Axel Road for car. Them use the the entertainment center put it up a stadium in a car park a big excitement up there disturb the people them from beverly hills disturb the people around the mountain view disturb the people them all over the area because it is not acoustic friendly musically we are talking about all when you're inside there you don't hear the music when you're outside that is, maybe Jamaican people can understand that, but that is possible. When you're playing the music in the theatre, you don't hear the music outside. There's nowhere in Jamaica that you can play music that you're not hearing it outside. We are disturbed the people then. We need a place to play the music loud. Loud. And it don't disturb the man who are come inside of the theatre. We know, we know theaters and halls in, um, in, a, in, a, in a different countries where when you are going to the theater, if, you, if you're in a the, the lobby, you know, hear the music inside. We are playing the show start and you don't know the show start. Big reggae music are pumped down in the place and big hip hop sound are pumping at the place. And you stand up in the lobby and you don't hear nothing. Them theater, they are whole thousand, two thousand, three thousand people. So me don't know. I don't know. I don't know why. Why? Why would I fight against the music, sir? Why would I fight against the music that way? Why would I don't see the importance? Why would I use the mouth and talk about the music and look what the reggae artist is doing and look what Bob Marley did and look what this, that did and, you know, the music has brought so much glory to Jamaica and things. But inside of the country where the music originates, it's a shame, man. It's a shame. Shame, I don't know. You know, politicians and government people who have the ability and the capability to do something and do nothing. And then I talk about say, why we as Jamaican artists not come together and build it. Build it where? The way we build it now, we hear say, this, that, 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 this, and the Taran knows what and them things. Is that you know one do? You know what? That one come build it now and then you know, come say, well, you know, this land was not originally and officially <laughs> paid for because remember 
Or will they pay money for them land and they did owe some money? I see them now. Government thief the land. Government set out them friends to thief the land. Why they never take the money with them? All them things, when you think about them things, you get vexed more with them in the rest of Because how will land up the saw? And them can eat when them said heritage site. That is a way you know if it's a preserve a heritage site, you know. Yet still, because a Rasta thing. And them don't know, say, if it was a Rasta, you know, no Bob Marley, you know, Peter Tash, no Muta Baroka, none of them people there. None of the ones them used to get up on stage you now and bring Jamaica to a certain level of visibility. If it wasn't for those artists, And if it wasn't for Rasta, those artists wouldn't be dead. And if it wasn't for the artists, them Jamaica would still be just a little creep span them up. So we give thanks to the artists, but we give more thanks to Rastafari. Because it's Rastafari create. Create the mindset. So that it could have make some youth from the ghettos of Jamaica rise up. And be counted in the earth, in the world. As legitimate philosophers and prophets of this time in the 21st century. So, we want to the concert all now. We do not look for out of many. Go spend another 100,000, you mean 100 million dollars. Now, you talk about 100 million dollars now. If you go do something where not going to work, not going to work, it's not going to work. You understand? And when we have concerts, Jamaica is busy. Every day you have something going on musically in Jamaica. Every day. First time I just Friday and Saturday night used to have things. No people don't care. People have this a Wednesday, where the Wednesday, this a Monday, or a Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday. I mean, some things we are going on in Jamaica I believe about the music. So I don't know. We just a call up on the people them who know say them is in authority and who can lend themselves to these things. So recognize the importance of these things. That when we hear about the government now just get four hundred and million dollars, or it's going to get four hundred and million dollars for peace of land at St. Catherine, and we see them spend two hundred million over this so, for land over this so, and them who want to spend another two hundred million dollars for that over this so. When we hear how much billion dollars them get from the EU for do certain projects, when we hear how much money the, the Chinese them are spend in a Jamaica yeah, for in, in lieu of land, I tell you now again, you know, the Chinese them smart. The Chinese them not taking no money for them work. It's land. Them taking for them money, for them work. Land. Because land. Is the basis of power. If you do have any power, you do have. If you do have any land, you do have any power. And it seems that if this government do understand what it is to have land as a means of power, and that is what we have, can hold on. Land is the basis of power. If you do have any land, you do have any power. Most of the wars that have been fought in earth was fought because of the necessity to gain and access land. Check it out. Check the history. From them time there until now. If I want in a Bible doctrine, check out one about Israel and the land where they never have no land. And them say God give them the land of the key in the night and they must go in at the land and take the land for themselves. Kill off the people, they rape the woman, them. God tell them to take the woman, them for yourself. Because not even a dog must escape. It's land. They must search for. When Britain, when Britain gave the Israeli them land in a land that is not for them own, and now them all on upon it and call it Israel, and have a set of people who did it before them named Palestinians over this. So, what you think the war is about? Land. Even today when you say this group that we name ISIS has spread cross from Iraq into Assyria. What do you think they must search for? It's land they want control. Land. 
So if we understand that, we don't understand, say, where this government has to yes or no, is wickedness. Wicked, wicked, wickedness. When they must sell off the land and I give away the land because in lieu of work done, we can't compete against China and America and Europe because them country there is industrialized country. You talk them, what them call them, concrete and steel, me call them. We as agricultural people, as land people, can compete against them with concrete and steel. So we have to use what we have and develop what we have in the competition. And what we have is land and agriculture, pan the land. So we do have to try to concrete and steel up Jamaica. Because we will never reach the stage where America and China are there. Never. But we can feed ourselves and also feed other people if we develop the land. Not as concrete and steel, but food productivity, agro-industry, and all these things. So, me no know. Me no know. Step in razor. So, me ask you now, not knowing about the mosquito thing, what, oh, you think them, them, them move the chemical from one person to the next. Or you think the chemical affect people? By what it, method it, them use? It, it, it could probably be airborne. Probably. It couldn't be the mosquito then. Them couldn't put the, the chemical in the mosquito and like, then make like, the mosquito. Like, like I said, Muta, like I said, I never seen the news clipping. Really. No, no, it, wait, no, man. Me not talking about the news clipping now. Mm. We're talking about what you say. You say that it is is a chemical. Right. Maybe that these people who you talk about the chemical, maybe them could have taken the chemical and put in a mosquito, and when the mosquito bite you, you get the chemical in your or you order something. That, 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 would, that would seem like a lot to go through. Eh? That would seem like a lot to go through. Oh, you mean a lot? Oh, you take the chemical, get you. I, that may I ask that you. That may I say it could be, it could be your body, it could be sprayed. That is just my theory. Just that theory. All right, so the spraying is, them use the chemical, them spray the chemical, and mm. you sniff the chemical. I don't, yes. Are you, are you, are you get it by your skin or something because of all these rashes and stuff? Okay. Like we say, like we say in the motor, mm. I'm just searching for answers. I mean, I try to say, when it's just, this thing just came out, a lot of people, I just take it as a simple thing. Yeah. Uh, but what I, another point to it is that, have they tabulated, although they have said it's not a chicken gun here that killed you, is. Underlying things where you are. Underlining things, yeah. Uh, yeah. But have they, have they tabulated how many people since the chicken gunia came in, have died have, by catching chicken gunia and died from the uh, uh, I can tell you something. You, did a, you, you never hear the program last week. I tell you, I've been, I've been pretty much, I've been here none for the past month and a half. I've been oh. working, I've come in two o'clock and left six o'clock. Your light bill now work out. Eh? I know the light bill, I've been working, <laughs> man. All right, I can tell you something. Mm. We had a program last week where we talked to a lawyer uh -huh. that we are, I am trying to ascertain from the lawyer if, if there is a way that we can sue the government. Right. Because when this thing first took place, all them tell you must do, take a Panadol, drink some coconut water and go rest. Exactly. Nobody told us that there was other things, for instance, complications. If you had diabetes, bladder right. problem, or high blood pressure, that if you get the chicken gunia, it would have increased your chances of death. Right, Nobody right, told right. us that even when you catch the chicken gunaria thing, after a while, maybe all two years down the line, you will still have pain in your shoulder, in your hand, like O'Neill has or now. Him tell me so say, every time when we wake up, him feel it in his hand, and he right. don't get it long time. Nobody told us that. And you have people who die. Nearly 200 people. Right. Nearly 200 people have died. Okay. And what happened is that when you ask these people, what killed the, pe the people them who there? Them say the chicken gun, gun, uh, well, chicken, chicken, chicken gun, chicken gun, complicated. Yeah, the chicken, the, some chicken gun, yeah. yeah. And yeah. the government did not inform the people that this thing would lead to death. Right. Exactly. No, no, we in Jamaica never know, say, the chick view would lead to death. That's what I said, Mutai. Just... In a one school. Five yes. people dead in a one school. <laughs> I saw that on the news. Yes, yeah, so, 
I think that we have a case to sue the government. The government should be sued. That's what that, uh, I'm a lawyer. So know. even though you talk about chemical and airborne and all these things, I know. Yes. I, I don't know about the airborne thing. I don't know about the chemical thing and, and mm -hmm. the possibilities arise anyway. But I know, say, I yes. know, say, it's mosquito bite you that give okay. you it. Anyway, and, we have to move. And, and you, them, you, them, you, them, you, them, 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 signal me. Them, them, signal me. Click it, click it. Yes, stepping razor. Asta Black. Yes, King. Oh, you the man. That's the far right. Why the man? You, know, you, you, you listened to me a while ago. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you inside universe? Mr. Universe? Yeah. You know, I'm listening to your program, Motor. Mm. And I hear the bridging, some bridging call you up and it's just blatantly. Him name is a universe. I'm tired of Mr. Universe. Him name. From West you know, Island. Yeah. Blatantly lied. And I. Now, I would never. Say Muta Baruka should be trimmed. I would never say that out of my mouth. I would never ever come out of my mouth. And I think that guy should come on the radio and apologize. He's a blatant liar. And he needs to be smoked out like chickpeas. Like chick like chick chick chicken chicken gora. Alright, chicken gora. So he needs to be smoked. So why why to a politics time why a man has come on the radio and say that so? You know, but no, man, we don't need to lie in Jamaica, you know, because of politics. I mean, we can say truthfully things. Mm. If you don't like Rasta Black, just say you don't like Rasta Black. Yeah. You don't yeah. like Rasta Black. use me in between you. It might use me if we were just thing against the people who are the people. The they like to, like to divide Rasta Black. Yeah. yeah. And we find them in a, in a, in a, in a places like. PNP, YO, and All right, now, you see, we got an election. You see, now we got an election mode now. It's not about PNP. You know, he's wicked, man. The guy is wicked. He's wicked. All right, sir. All right. He's out of You know, this to Mota on the on, on um, the Observer newspaper. Mm -hmm. They have the PNP and PNP on front page. And I am a duly nominated person. And uh, Harris Hines from the Observer, and I'm gonna talk to um Mr. Stewart about it because I think he should be smoked out too. Okay, I will. But people want smoke out. <laughs> yeah, man. Only if I mosquito want smoke out, and some mosquito, things where they go on the Jamaica want smoke out. I too. hope they're not jumping a yard, Kalalo. All right, sir. We have to move now. So all right, thanks for taking my call, Mr. Yes, yeah. Looking forward to all Ganja growing. Where you say the man a lie, a lie, my tell by you, lie, well, lie, big lie. All the Ganja smoke, the Ganja yeah. planters to come out and support this. Yes. All right, sir. Yes. Step in. Yeah, Mota. Yes. Greetings. Greetings. Yes, man. Um, me just a call. You know, me have listened to the program, me listen to weekly, but that week here, me a call to just suggest a thing to you. Mm. Because I'm the woman, I'm pregnant still, and I'm trying to get a home birth. Mm. See, if I'm just pregnant, I try to seek out, and every nurse who I'm linked, everybody who I'm linked, I say, boy, them don't want to get in trouble, and them don't want them license to take away. And eh? I'm here to myself, so, but my mother has six youth, and all of them born, I guess, I'm here to say. Mm. Oh, oh, something to be like that, but I mean, your license will get taken away. I just want a midwife to assist me, because... When you go to the hospital, my king man can go see what I want. And me feel it in myself, say, when your, your king can see, uh, 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 you can see you and give birth. Me think, but them not stop uh, you, but, but them not stop the father from going on the path with the birth of one. Them not stop Yeah, them not. Like, you know, the person in there is just you. You may tell me that. No, no, man. No, the, 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 really, them may not deal with part my picking of one I'm going there, man. Them put no, on the green truth. No, me, I want to be able to use a motor. Yeah, and them and say me, no. Eh? And them said no, no to the father yeah, for coming there. Nobody can, nobody at all can go in there. Yeah, but me did go in there when my pictures is up on. Them put on the green clothes for me. I'm going go inside there. Eh? So I don't know. But uh, alright, so you know, me, you know, so I know a, 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 a midwife, a real a legitimate midwife, but I don't know, she's still, she's there, so no, still. Yes. But me, yes. no, me can't check it out for you still. But I love that man because I saw him at the clinic and them make me know say. All right, me go ask somebody. Me go ask somebody and 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 me tell Pan really before the program done. Yeah. All right, give time. Yeah. All right. Listen. Yes. Step it. Oh yeah 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 yeah. Yes. All right. So with the. <laughs> uh, it's a uh, we are telling you. Belly full but we hungry. Real fall but it's not the top. Fat a cook, but the food don't love. 
We need a play in the studio, you know, and then we have to have to cut it. Country a strap, you blame us. Now that the violence gets outrageous, minimum wages for young teenagers. Married 12 gauges and the world be famous. Don't do a politician favors. They're coming all size, got the shit. Yes, them don't do no politician favor because they're coming all size. Okay. Well, we're. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, man, now listen. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me I listen to Bridgen. You can hear yeah, me. Brother. Yes, brother. Yes, Mr. Baruka. Yeah, I go and make some wonderful work there, yeah, you know? Give thanks, man. Yes, I. Yeah. You know, today I uh, congratulate the sister who just called the hype on the... Oh? Oh? This is go on. That's not what they work, eh? Yeah. That's what they work. All right, we'll be tired of this one. We'll tell you how we'll go on. Yes, Ian. Ian? Mota, hold on to the camera. Get the fire again. We, 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 who are born down the place down there? The, the politics thing. When oh, I yeah. Well, we know, see them try, them, you know, see them try to put me on the mig light a while ago. Yeah. Oh, so you don't know. So no, that's why I'm calling. I want to take you out. So me, we know you let them thing there. No, no and the, the, uh, one, uh, uh, that minister said, no, two politicians are trying to get me caught in between them. That's a while ago. So I'm not. I am. That's why I'm calling to take you out. No, we know. Come here, sir. Right on our Jamaica, we say, no. Yeah. Uh, when them have the anything, we have to go in it and party, you know. Yeah. Cause right now we are cook a pot and the two sides are get out of it. Yes, <laughs> 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 uh, Our family and our friend, them, we all have a family. Uh, that we are saying. Uh, that we yeah, are and the whole Jamaica are free with. Mota, yes, when I used to play local football. A long time I don't play football, you know. You know, some of the later, later ball, you know, yeah, you can't ask Bob Marley to juggle things. Yeah, but me and Bob Marley are the same thing. Me don't work with the leather thing, you know. Come here, sir. Right now, me and you are going to play next match. Well, if you, you, if, you, if, you, if you give me a ball when I let me kick it, yes? Yeah, man, you have to pick up a team go play for your reggae boy in the next game. Because <laughs> the coach that him come like, sir, he might look, he might come from vacation. I, yeah. I, some, some, I love him. He find a girl, no guy, no. I think he find a girl, no guy, no. But Captain, I feel like man, I know that we can shake up a thing, man. I can't understand the embarrass the self the motor. I'm going to see what's going on there. The ranking, I... I was supposed to go, we supposed to go on wicked you know, until last night. <laughs> ah, this is motor, man. I'm going to look, man, and see the team, man. That's how to call our forward left corner. Every game down here in, in, in our Cravenia League. Mm. And... <laughs> Right now, when, in the Red Shark League, I want to see, me see, me see my brother last night sit down on the bench. I said, who you feel one man with? The all is up on target, most and we tell him to call the man and he call him and put up the man to sit down. Mm. You know how frustrated that is that every game a man playing and he score, you know? Yeah. And you call him for your national team last night and he sit down. You know how you feel you not have You don't have him to play no time at all. Yes, yeah, sir, big up yourself. He's the problem. <laughs> I said, Mota, yesterday you, I'm telling him to call, because he's up on the program where to score, you know. Mm. I'm telling him to call you, and he call you, and have you, sit down. He might show me, he might do what he feel for you. So, mm. it's like he might do what he feel for you. And yes, when he feel, do what he might do. Mm. He knows that he just go on home, and he has it. You know, we have a captain to tell him to go on home. Go on home. Voluntarily no go home. We now use no friendship around this Mota, and look at the thing. You think I go down. Mm. And then sitting there, we have to dig up the farmers, them cars. Without the farmers, them, we don't have a nation. All right, sir. And uh, them keep up the nation, you know. All right, give thanks, yeah. Bridget. Big up, kill it one, go big up to that man. All right, That's sir. All right, my friend. Yes. Yeah, I tell you, the man, the man vexed about it. <laughs> think he not vex, he vexed about it. I don't see him on that. Eh? I don't see him on that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, it's a, uh, I'm telling you. Hi, I know that. Busy signal. Hi, I, I know that. I, 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 I. We give them where they want. We give them. We give them where they want. We give them. Trust me, we give them. Yes, step in. Yeah. Yeah, gone. Eh, all right. Yeah. Greetings, sir. Yeah, blessed. Yeah, blessed, Ganga Muta. Yeah, blessed, man. 
Yeah man, give thanks for another day with step and raise, I know. Yeah, give thanks, man. Yeah man, I'm here say people last night, Mota, trust yeah, me. I tell you, roughy, rough, 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 rough. rough. <laughs> yeah, no, Mota. Mm. Trust me, the people alone come like you liberate me, I Eh? Yes, man. <laughs> uh, you know, sir, you see information, Mota. Very important. Very important. I boy, some people call me and say them all them are doing work up and down in the house. They can't sleep. <laughs> I was one of them who was telling me I walk up in the house. <laughs> I never bought you and sat down last night and talked to you. <laughs> I'm here to say. Where is it? It make you have diarrhea. It make you have diarrhea. <laughs> 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 I had to listen to this man and I couldn't wait to call and I took four and I got lie down in the air. It have you a wheel? Have me a wheel because after me still a think, you know. And me go do some reading, you know, and me have the book when you have the Egyptian book of the dead, you know. Mm -hmm. We have the ISIS and the, the uh, Osiris Who else? and that side, right. Yeah. Me yeah, understand, so me go back and make up a little more ground for myself. Yeah, to see if what the man has said are uh, possible. Yes. And one of the vital information what the man put across, you know, you know the man say, the man say, any time you go read something or you see something official or tell us a boy, don't read that or that no good for you, you know. Read it, man, read it. Read it. And you tell him, tell us you don't read it, read it. Ah. Uh, yes. Uh, what them do, you know, certain source of information, them know why you have the access to it, you no, know. No, man. No, man. Yes, yeah, because our youth, you know, I eat them use and have the authority over you. Over you, yeah, yeah. Because if you didn't know yeah. it, they wouldn't have no authority over you. Ah, yeah. so them keep it for you. It's just the same thing they do with the land, you know. Yeah. You know, they have a saying. They have a right to a living space, you know. They have a saying, say, powerful people will never educate powerless people in what it means to take the power away from them. Ah, so the aim yeah. of powerful people is to stay powerful by any means necessary. By any means necessary. Yes. And you also have a quotation that you always say. Say the most powerful weapon in the mind of the oppressor. The, yeah. Is the mind of the oppressed. Yeah. The, po the most powerful weapon in the hands of the oppressor is the mind of the oppressed. Right. Yes. That so is you Steve Biko. Govern you, you know. Mm -hmm. That's why them set up them own academia, you know. Yeah. And them keep revising it, revising it. So them keep pointing you to a direction, you know. Yeah. Because our disadvantage, you know, Mota, you send them a chance for to come across the Atlantic Ocean. They make sure so them get rid of our books, you know. We couldn't bring our book with we, you know. No. So that's why we kind of lose our history. But, but, but we'll bring the book by a tablet and then we add, still, you know. And that's the thing we have so it in our hands. You have residue of it, yes, so still. Anyway, we have to go to some advertisement. You want to wait or you want to call forward? Call forward. All right, sir. Advertisement time. Click it. Yeah, the time is 4 o'clock. And the dot, this is the stepping razor, the art of war with the day I will be sitting our life, your arms up, make sure you're living. There is no death in that, this your rebel, you're not in it. The love of Rastafari, right where you feel living. Fight tough wars, and I love we use when it's plenty love, and where we get, and from we get it, we have to give it. Solid foundation. Yeah, step in. Yeah. Yeah, how you play? Oh, yes, sir. You do that? Yeah. Yeah, Moses. Yeah, man, you have a kind of reverb by your voice then. All right, sir. Uh, let me know. I don't know where you're going, but not for a phone, um, a high tone thing. Yeah. You can hear me better now, right? Yeah, me can hear you now. Yeah, yeah. All right. You hear me talk about uh, the mm -hmm. music thing you just talked about a while ago. It's a brilliant time. You know, Which right? music thing? You mean the, the, the concert hall? Yeah, man. It's been a long time we talked about it, and nobody not take me up on it. Something like that should have been a long, long, long time, man. Yeah, man, a year. You know, say, which part? Emancipation Park, there. One supposed to set up there, so before the Emancipation Park. But then, yeah, you know, I saw them fight it. I mean, I sent you in here, I mean, I even know the kids. Oh, yeah, when well, I tell you, say, yeah. them, they're going to build one day, you know, and the people, they might say, they're going to um, bring too much desirables in a in new kids' town. No, man. I know this is everything, you know. Yeah, what, I want to tell you, say, I know this is everything, and you can so you want to see the rat them. Up on Nutshot Boulevard. And you have a little gully, wait, you have a little gully around the corner, up on Trafalgar Road. 
I put mm. gay guys down there. Don't they that call and you have gears? Don't write that little girl in there, so. Yeah, man, I see, see some of the news there already. Yeah, but I don't see it the news. I see it when I go home at night time. I see them set up there, so I'll two, three dozen of them there they talk. No, man, that's the high school, man. You don't want to see nothing like that. Well, one night, one night, I pass there. Eh? You know, you, you have a brother who sell, must soup himself by the corner they took to them, you know. One night, I pass and they run call the motor. You can't buy me something for it. <laughs> you know, just wind up your window, man. Well, for what? I'm not afraid of them. We better wind up with them, I'm not afraid of them. They said, no, I'm not about to give you the wind. And I'm about to walk like a man, and I'm about to walk like a man, and I'm about to have motor. You can't buy something for me for it. Yeah, that, that's not a pretty sight. That's not a pretty sight. One night, we set up in a, in a lobby, Pegasus lobby, you know. And we see about a dozen of them are running like a brother with a knife, and the brother took out the lobby there, and a pure cousin of the lobby, you know, I mean, nobody has said nothing. I said, wait, it's a gay lobby, this. Mm -hmm. You know, them need some I, gear lobbies. <laughs> I don't want to turn the country, you know, man. But you hear this, you talk about burning spear right now, you know, high, because yeah. I see a man like burning spear should be on, on the same center we are talking about there. That would yeah. be a great thing to name it after burning spear, it burning spear, spear performing yeah. at center. Yeah, man, that's true, man. Yeah, man. That's because true, remember, sir, I don't know man to you, said John, I tell you, you know. I don't know, man, I don't know, man, I tell you, but Marcus Gaffey, you could remember Marcus Gaffey. Yeah, all right, old well, Marcus Garvey. Mm -hmm. Well, that's why I'm here saying right now that the man needs to Hannah before anything happens in Arasta. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you, man. It, it, yeah, it, man. it could be called the Burning Spirit Theater, of course. Of course, I agree yeah. with you, totally. Yeah, yeah. because yeah. one time in Rasta, I think kind of the good one way, you know. Mm -hmm. A Burning Spirit comes to come tell us that John is dead, you know. John yeah. is dead. Yeah. Yeah. And, if, and if you have time, it's probably like if you can touch a one lip on the ear, too. John is dead. Okay, sir. All right. All right, I give thanks, Bedrin. Respect, Bedrin. Yes, we're the next call there. That's all? All right, yes, EL. So, there, yes, step in. EL. Greetings. Right yeah, bless him. Yeah. Yes, Bramuta. Yeah, ma'am, there, man. Yeah, me, I listen to the program, and me, I hear about the uh, Prime Minister. And what me, I think, say, is. The money where they take and spend down at the place and buy up this will be a two hundred million dollar place there. That the money there come from out of the Ministry of Finance. It's not the money there. And an NHT eh? money. A NHT money. Yes, but all the money were appealed now to come to the Ministry of Finance. Well, I, I don't know them thing the work but I know it says NHT money. So any yeah, but well, we we say yeah, but yeah. So what you say about the minister? Of yeah, finance, but, but all right. So tell me what you say about the minister of finance. Since the minister of finance are run by Peter Phillips, and him did challenge earlier on for the for the ministry for the presidency or uh, the leadership of the government, I wonder if something had gone why he never really informed inform her because as the minister of finance. He would have all information containing money to have no, a period out, especially no, them kind of money. No, man, as she had the head of the NHT, and the, the NHT people them who she employed supposed to tell her where I go on. As she employed the yes, NHT, she had the NHT person who was supposed to know where I go on in her own little employee and employer's place. Yeah, but the NHT the fall under our department of the government. Then as she had the head of the government, man. And she yeah, the and too. then and the and the, gov and the, gov the government of certain departments, including the Department of Finance. Yeah, but she had the head of the NHT. And she had the NHT owner, yeah. governor, meant. And she. Yeah, yeah but so, so like, the NHT have a separate financial money group business within yeah, them, separate from the government, yeah, the Ministry of Finance. No, the Minister of Culture have them money where them spend as the Minister of Culture. The Minister of Education yeah. and Mr. Wemnim, they're responsible for the money. Wemnim, Mr. Twee is responsible for the, minister, the money for the Minister of Education. The NHT person is the Prime Minister. So whether or not is the, 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 the Minister of Finance supposed to know how the budget is going on, where, how much money can be allotted for that, how much money can be allotted for this one. Yeah. But when it boils down to who yeah. spending the money, is the person who is the head of that department spend the money according to all them seed? NHT have billions of dollars 
and them not build, them, them not start spending the money here. That's why them always have shift money from any, I know the first them do it, them have shift money from NHD to put it over that side there eh, for, for, for balance of certain things. It was like you had to take from Peter for PayPal. So, yeah. the NHD. So, that means money, that somebody in a fear department or the NHD never informed her. It's, it's either she didn't know and I go like she don't know because they are wait now to find somebody to put the blame upon. Because you know, so them not take no blame for nothing. So they go go around the corner now, find yeah. some guy in at the NHD and say, Are you do it? You are now. But why your resignation? So that is the final that and that and then you know, the Jamaican people go back to business as usual and forget about that. And that them are doing. Mm. What chance we are going to happen? What, what, what happened is that them going to find somebody in the NHD to say, Are you are the problem? So you are, we are asking for resignation. If you not get to resignation, we are demand that you resign. Just like how they make Azan. You remember Azan? Yeah. Oh, 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 that big thing that it come up. But, 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 who oh, did a lot. The style them for the people, them not the market and all them something there. And you know, say Azan come back bright and chirpy. Yeah, but when you deal with money like uh, 200 million, you know, most of you have certain people who have a sign off on them people, yeah. Yeah, and then signature must be about and meetings and all them that's, that's why they're going to find somebody to put it on. The, 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 but that the, is what you know. That it, the blame not going upon Peter Phillips. Yes. The blame not going upon the Prime Minister. None of them yeah. shall be blamed for it. Even though the Prime Minister tell you, say, is Das Munchi know about this sell half thing when it's last year the thing sell? She does know about it last year. Yeah. And she had a prime minister. So she that now. That's not so good. That's not so good, bro. That's that not so good. Not good so. It makes you look a weird. It makes you look funny. Like that she don't yeah. know. Like I know she, yeah. had, like I know she had a prime minister. It makes you come and she know she had a prime minister. Yeah, that really undermine her. Bad, bad, bad. Because right now. Peter Phillips, they're on the side there, so you know, I'm waiting now. For trip over, you know. Yeah. You, know yeah. you know, they're not there, they're yeah. trip over. Watch and see. Peter Phillips, they're there, they're for trip over. Yes, that's true. Okay, so what that, is That is why I want to since. That's why I never want to see him at the Ministry of Finance and Finance. I deal with money business. When I even did know, I never even the tell her nothing, not, not even a part in argument. Let me tell you what's up. This is all Andrew Wall, it's good that they all know to you know. Because I hear him tell, hear, hear yeah. him tell you, say, them say them did not try to sell the, the, the GLP that. The, the GLP government. Mm. Them, 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 them approach the GLP government for, for, for buy that place already, you know. Remember mm. that? You know, yeah. So when them come now, hear them try to go around the corner and say, well, it's not really the, the outer many thing we buy, you know. It's the land where the outer many depend. It just so mm. happens that that depend the land, too. But we are going to facilitate it by mm. now. Revamp it and set it up in a different way. But first, we have to go buy the copyright from the man who did own it. And they might, he might ask for 20 more million. And they might tell you about 18 million a year. A year, a year, a rasta. Them spears. Mm. 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 That's not money, guys. For one year, a lot. You know? <laughs> think mm. I'm crazy. Okay. And, and she don't know about that. That, that kind of that kinda sound too important for she don't know. Boss, let me, me tell you, man. Jo hey, Tom Jung, what time of fool, you know? You understand? Tom Jung, what time of fool? But head, head to rule, head to rule for this. If she, if they can have the Prime Minister of the country turn up in a parliament yeah. and say all them things there, and, I, and I embarrass and I humiliate the woman like that, yeah. somebody have to get fired there. Yeah, because she not going to fire herself, and nobody not going to fire she. So, you have to find some little scapegoat who's going to fire. If well, you see the scapegoat, you have a, it, the scapegoat have to come forward now and, and talk to him story, and even write a book, then and publish all of these things, because we can't, they can't, they can't do with this all the while. You know, you know, you see, as we speak now, they might have meeting for Sarah, you know what I'm going to do now. You are going to take that yeah. blame, and we're going to just let you go, give you some big money, if you don't get a big money already, but we're gonna let you go, and then one year down the line, we're gonna bring you back and put you back there. You remember, I say, I will for them to do that already, waiting to them gone, you know, and then come back, power, you know. Yeah. yeah they come back like Yeah, master. even the same PJ Patterson. Yeah, like that thing go on with him, too. So. Yeah, man, they come back. I want them to think that is a regular thing we're going on in the PNP. What do you mean? It go on in the politics. 
You know, the two guys are right. Yeah. Well, I'm going to try to get me involved in them things. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Me, 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 Hi, how are you doing, my brother? Good day, man. Yeah, I was um, listening to the conversation earlier about um, the 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 program last night. Oh yes, the the, the plain yeah. truth, the re- truth, yeah, the truth it near, yeah. All right. Um, tell me something. You you think that the the what exactly you think about the the the, the, the how it's being spread? Oh, what is spread? The chicken gun, yeah. Oh, me think you talk about something we talk about last night. <laughs> we never talk about chicken gunya last night. Oh, because, uh, no, I came in um, about 20 minutes ago on the program. No, was they were referring to a tape that I play about interpretations of the Bible and how the New Testament is symbolic. Jesus Christ is a symbol. Oh, and that a lot of the things... The theology. Them, yeah, that a, a lot of things them that people say about the yeah. Christianity was thousands yeah. of years before Christianity, and it finds itself in a other... Yeah, Mithraism, yeah. all of that. Yeah, yeah all of them. Buddhism, Hinduism, yeah. you know, in the Egypt from a long time. So that was the argument last and night. A lot of, yeah, you, you, and, and it's totally correct, because a lot of the stuff is not ex- even explained. Yeah, so like, that um, never did have nothing to do with the, the chick, the brother didn't say, him feel, him do feel, he said, he's a chemical, and I asked you, if a man couldn't put a chemical in the mosquito and make it spread... Well, I tell you something, you know, the yeah. last couple of days, in, I live in Kingston, mm-hmm. last couple of days, I've been smelling some funny smell in the air. Yeah, but it's not the chicken going to cause the smell. No, but we don't know, we don't know that. Well, you, you think it's the chicken going to cause the smell? No, what I think is, I think it's like, like a two-fold thing, you know, yeah. like there's probably some chemical, whether odorless or whatever, that is beef, that is airborne. All right, so let me ask you a in question. Conjo- so yes. why you don't believe, say, the mosquito? Why you don't believe it? No, because uh, it, 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 just the way people express certain symptoms. For instance, for instance, what is the symptom? Uh, all right, with? some people say them, them have ache engine. Some, some people say them get rash on them. Some yeah. some so it couldn't be, it couldn't be mosquito cause that. Or something. So it couldn't yeah. be mosquito cause that? No. Because then, oh, wait, no, wait, no, well, no, let me tell you why. Let yeah. me tell you why I don't think so. Because yeah. the, the, the symptoms would have been expressed in a similar fashion. Similar fashion as what? And you know, like everybody would have been having the same kind of symptoms. No, but, but, get, get yeah, but, then, but, 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 but you know why that happened? Because mm, of the so immune system. Some people do have it yet. I don't have it yet. I don't have it well, yet. And the bridge, yeah. you know, Mr. Bridge, you know, on him, Brian, him not catch it yet. So, it's, it's, it, it, it depends on your immune system. It affects you certain way, different ways, because of your immune system. That's why them tell you, say, if you have diabetes, if you have, um, high blood pressure, and if you have bladder problem, it will affect you different from a man who do have none of them problem there. So, it's not like, right. say, because a man have rashes, and another man that is not that. That don't make, logically, it don't make no sense. But why we, why you don't want to believe this mosquito? I don't understand why people don't want to believe this mosquito when they do have no other scientific all right, evidence all right. you, to you, say you, it's you, not a, a, a question. Okay, I'm going to drop, drop something now, you know. You have you been following anything with the Kenyan um, um, situation with the uh, Ebola? What am? Tell me which part I, because I'm going to follow the Ebola. All right, it, okay. Just about three days ago, they had some reports from Kenya mm. that was saying that the, the, the doctors that represent the Kenyan um, Catholic Church yes. were saying that they found six vials. Yeah, they um, said what, they, what, they, yeah, terrorists. That, that them, them them right? They sent them to South Africa, you know, because yeah. they never sent them to, 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 into Kenya. All right, hold on, Bridget, hold on, hold on. Make could come back. Yeah, just, just, just hold your guns there. Click it, click it. Yeah, man. Yeah, the time is 18 minutes past 4 o'clock. All right. Yes, Bridget. Right. Yes, it. my brother. Yeah. yeah. So what I was saying to you, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so them said this, the vials them down to South Africa to be analyzed. Yes. All six of them come back. Um, the HCG um, um, anti- antibody. No, it's not an antibody. It's a chemical that they use for s- sterilization of women. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. When they was given the, 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 the vaccines under the guise of having it be a tetanus shot. It was a tetanus shot. But it have the HCG vac- um, um, thing there in there. 
And you know what the drug company them say? Mm -hmm. Oh, it was just like a, a, a corrupted batch. Yes, 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 yes. Six of them, you know, six. Yeah, well, uh, you know, worse than that in happening in history, where them, them say them are, them are, um, cure syphilis in 300 yeah. black people in a Tuskegee. Right. And what they was doing and was doing an experiment. Was spreading it, exactly. Yeah. And then put so chicken like packs, small packs, in a blanket and give the Native American them. Right. Now we see that this strain of Ebola, this strain of Ebola, yeah. It's a different strain. Yeah, them say what is happening now is that the strain of Ebola is a development of a next strain from in the 70s where them go back in the laboratory now. And, uh, and re-engineer it. Yeah, and them say the the chicken gunya where we are talking right. about just now. Right. Where in a China too, you know. Because China have a bigger epidemic of chicken gunya than Jamaica, you know. Yeah. How many people don't know that, you know, but them, them play it down. Yeah, yeah, man. Them have a chick, them have de what them call dengue. This year, yes. this year. Them them have, similar symptoms as dengue. Yeah, yeah. but when I tell you now, say, in a China, that's why yeah. nobody can tell me the Chinese make it come here, so you know. Because the only mm. thing we are up between different Jamaican and 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 in their bodies, the difference is the Chinese influx of Chinese as well. And if there is a there is a epidemic inside mm. of China, and it's the same mosquito that give you dengue, give you the sick, and the Chinese them there as well. There's no reason why I should not say we should investigate yeah, yeah, yeah. the Chinese. You can draw some inference there, yeah. Yeah, but we no, we no. But yeah, when we talk about yeah. the mosquito itself, now mm. where people are say them not think a mosquito. Most of the people them where I hear say it's not mosquito. Them not giving you no empirical scientific data for sure you say it's not the mosquito. It's just things right. in them but and things. Alright, but Muta, same like how the, the, you see, like how the Africans them not giving no empirical evidence that that the WHO and, and CDC and these people uh, do mean them any good. Yeah, but that is not true. But that is not true. But them based them evidence and uh, uh, like, like No, the, that is not true. That is not true. In a Nigeria and mm. in a Guinea, mm. people don't declare that already. As a mm. matter of fact, there is a case where the people them rise up and say them don't want the the the, the um the, the red cross in the country because right. they realize that the red cross are do something exactly. an experiment so the, the African them at least know of certain aspects of it that is not conducive to freedom development so yeah. it's not true for say the African them now shout out no but the, no, what the point I was making is that even before them they have concrete proof when it was just a suspicion alone. Mm -hmm. That is when they make them them, them start express the, the, the suspicion that it was the CDC them and WHO people them and Red Cross that was spreading the thing. Yeah, so the so what I'm is the scientific evidence you have to say is not? No, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying that before the empirical evidence was presented, to the people them, come up with a whole different them had them suspicions along them lines. Yeah, so you and know what I'm saying. saying. I just have the suspicion along them lines. Because even though you don't have the empirical evidence, you still have the suspicion. Exactly. So you, you don't want to agree now with the empirical evidence that says the mosquito. Even though you have empirical evidence that it's not. That means that the, 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 the leaders in this country would rather you... No, we're not talking about the leaders in a, this country. Not in a, yeah. this country. We're not talking about mm. this country. They don't know where they are. No, the point I'm making is that the, 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 the Minister of Health and all these people who are saying that is a mosquito who is the vector of the thing, right? Yeah. They... They are trying to convince us of that of that idea. No, but it's right? not only not Jamaica. Before, before people, we right? accept it too blindly without but, even uh, questioning whether or not. Yeah, but the, I now accept it. No empirical evidence proving but, that. Yeah, but I now ac accept it blindly. It's mosquito cause it. I now accept it blindly. It's mosquito no, cause but, it. No, but we are, we are, well, how you know it's mosquito cause it? Bridging. If you really come tell you now, so, they're going to have the, what them call it? The music, <laughs> the music. <laughs> they have the music news that's all. But yeah. let me tell you something. If mm. them have it in a, them have this disease in a Tanzania, them have it in a yeah. West East Africa, them have it in a China, as we mentioned, China. Yeah. Them have it in a the other South America, Central America, and them have it in a Jamaica. When I said to you that it's not the Jamaican government conspire to say make we tell the people them say is mosquito when it's an airborne thing or whether it's something else this All is right. something that is a known scientific fact 
All right, tell you what. Right. The, the, so we have, the, the, we, hold on, let me just make we, one last yeah, point. We, yeah, make yeah. it quick. Make what it happens quick. that, okay, you know, you know about the, 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 about Bill Gates releasing the, the, um, the, the um, genetically modified mosquitoes them in, in to the ear. At a TED conference, right? No, that's that, YouTube, yeah, you know. Yeah, but, but and everything for YouTube must follow you. Know. Listen to me, I tell you. No, no, it, no, yeah. it is visual. They released yeah, it. Yeah, we, no, we never said No, but hold on, no. They have them released 2,000 in, in, in Grand K, man. Then no mask it, then they no mask it, then they no Then no mask it, then they release. I know, but, but then no mask it, then we, no, we, no. Then we tell them to call them modify the something. And you have to make sure no mask it, no. No, but hold on, no. It's same like how them chemically manipulate, um, plants to produce the more pesticides. Then they no GMO the mask it at all. But them GMO the mask it at all. Then we tell them to call them modify the mask it at all. But you can't say, as you know, I go into them genetically modified matter. Why you tell them to mask it at no, but it's not the regular mosquito. No, you know, no, we can't, we, we're not arguing if it's a regular mosquito or it's an irregular mosquito. We're saying that it's mosquito doing it. Whether it is a regular mosquito or it's a man going to laboratory and create the mosquito, or whether him genetically modify the mosquito according to a USA by Bill Gates, it's a mosquito causing it. Well, this Bill Gates himself say modify them, you know. But, but we, me, no, but, to do it, me know. never so say Bill Gates, they can, they can act as, as vectors for the... Listen, listen, for, listen. For, listen. Yeah. You are say exactly what me I say. Bill Gates say it's mosquito in modify. No, you are come back now and say it's mosquito. I tell you for a long time, say that mosquito do the thing. You are say, you don't have no evidence to say it's mosquito, but you don't have to tell me about Bill Gates. But it's something else. No, no, what I'm saying is that it's not no regular mosquito do this But thing. we not it's, argue it's if it's a regular it's mosquito. It, Bridget, we not argue yeah. if it's a regular mosquito or it's an irregular mosquito. May I tell you, say, it's a mosquito that cause it. Mm. Whether it's a... Whether it's a matrix mosquito or a mosquito we create on the moon or the star, it's a mosquito that yeah. cause it. It's just anyway, we have to move, we have to move here. All right, all right, pick it, pick it. Yes. Uh, time is 32 minutes past four, it's music news time. Attention radio station. Welcome. Please back away from your radios. I like new music, news talk, updates with artist drops. Listener drops. Attention radio station. Welcome. Please back away from your radio. I like new music, news talk, updates with artist drops, center drops, sound effects, and movie drops. Hey, watch that. Music news. Local. Music news. Welcome to music news. Music news. Oh, go on, family. It's Mrs. Keith. It really vibes Queen Lady Renee with today's music news. 27 minutes to the hour of five. Welcome back to Music News with your wife's queen lady Renee. We got Muta, Neil, Bride, Tesfa, and Monique in studio. If they make me a chip, somebody, why flick? Somebody, why flick? Somebody, why flick? All right, after news broke that up and coming dance old artist Massacre had cut ties with conscience and his subconscious label, there were many who believed the young entertainer was getting too far ahead of himself, making a choice that, you know, could mean more harm than good for him. However, his manager Corey Todd believes the split will only push the artist's career to new heights. Corey Todd also sought to clear up rumors of a shaky departure between himself and conscience, stating that the split was friendly and that both parties understood that the choice was best for all involved. Todd revealed the main reason behind the move to sever ties with the Realest Meds singer. He said he and conscience both have different approach styles when it comes to music and business, making reference to an incident which took place at Mojita Mondays last month where Conscience suffered head injuries after a brawl between himself and the producer. Todd believes Conscience did not handle the situation properly. Following the split, the popular shoe line Cons 876 has been discontinued. However, Conscience took to social media to break the news to his fans that, look here, there will be a relaunch of the line as a solo project. I like your song choice, Tesfa. All right, so weeks after a joke he made on popular talk, your mind 
online show regarding the paternity of dancehall artist Pam Putia's baby. Yes, Richard Feelings is now apologizing. I'm very glad he decided to because trust me, the move was very tacky in terms of what he about her. Now, during the show, Richard Feelings alleged that, you know, Pam Putia had relations with, whoa, potential kid. Are you so nice? And that he may be the father of her baby. Both potential kid and Pam Putia denied the claims. Now, Richie states, I would like to sincerely apologize to Pam Putia. Now, everybody knows that me and her friend long time. This baby that the joke and all these things is one I've been running from. She was pregnant. I'm always running jokes with Pam Putia and she never took it personal. So maybe, you know, it's her partner who has a problem with the joke. According to the selector, he decided to apologize because several persons were taking the joke a bit too serious. <laughs> mail is brewing and brewing and brewing with a possible beat down. Let's get ready to rumble. Not in a good way. So according to sources, members of the Alliance camp had a private meeting to discuss plans to beat ZJ Chrome. Now, look here, we call it music news, but this is music mix-up news. The source claims Alliance members were quite upset when Ah, Chrome decided to do the alkaline diss song, as a matter of fact, produce it, and want to teach him a lesson. Now, the Alliance boss already made an attempt to contact ZJ Chrome on Instagram, it's been stated. However, ZJ Chrome made the situation worse by going on the record to classify the Alliance boss as childish. Efforts to get a comment from Bound to Kill approved futile, and Music News will be following up on this story. Three of the artists now being proclaimed as the young guns in dance hall music have shown an interest in being involved in clashes at Magnum Sting 2014. Supreme Promotions, the promoter of the event, Big Up Zai, Mark Heavy, and the whole Supreme crew, have secured the services, yes, of Tommy Lee Sparta, him sound a light gauge, and Rhyme Minister. The promoters are also attempting to sign Alkaline Steel. In a press release, Tommy Lee Sparta stated that last year he could have taken on Kiprich and Kanka. Thing, but he was hampered by a broken leg. I'm not going to pass for that one. <laughs> Gage's agent, Cornelius Daly, stated that Gage is a walking gun and is ready to lyrically kill anyone on spot. The Sting stage has been a testing ground over the years with some of the biggest stars, you know, really making their mark, of course, as icons and becoming leaders of the musical game. Now, I don't know who was say Tommy and Gage and Ryan Minister clash on all these things, but family, feel free to take to social media. Everything, RFM, let us know if you're looking forward to that clash at this year's thing. Now, even though you hear Usher's music in the background, I'm going to pass for a second regarding Tommy Lee and keep up. Like, like keep up would have killed Tommy Lee seven times times 20, lyrically. I'm just saying. All right. Usher and his wife, Tamika Raymond, may be the next targets of another celebrity sex tape leak. Yes, it's true. Someone is shopping around a stolen video of the former couple during an intimate moment bow chicka wow wow together. An individual broke into the R&B crooner's car in Atlanta back in 2010. That's 2010 stealing two laptops, two video cameras and a million dollars worth of jewelry. Why Osha care sound like him dresser? I don't know how. Alright, among the contents on the laptop was the video that is now being sold to the highest Bidder. Apparently, whoever is attempting to sell the tape is not going to, you know, the adult film companies, but rather is going directly to the blogs as, you don't know, adult entertainment companies right now refuse to touch it since they would likely never get the green light from Usher to release it. That person, yeah, brave, bad, bad, bad. And finally, rounding out in this week, so should I say at least today's, you know, my music news version of Keep It Real, celebrity icon, boy, jolting hidden truths. Now, in yesterday's Ebo's family, we're talking about a number of things. We're talking about, of course, you know, John Holt and a couple of other artists. When John Holt's story came around, I said, no, man, the whole matter of the funeral, you know, being delayed based on economical or financial situations or, you know, a situation where the government not supporting the family financially and giving him a state funeral, which he's deserving of. I get a prips right after Ebo's that, Rene, nothing don't go so a bag of things are going with the family. So draw a chair and come near. 
it was stated that veteran Sir John Holt, who should have been buried this coming Saturday, has now been rescheduled for Monday, November 17, due to economical reasons, right? A.K.A. the family now have the money. But according to credible sources close to the family, it is alleged that there is extreme drama and tension between several family members, including his immediate caretaker, as a matter of fact, who was present at his hospital bedside before he passed, his sister Patsy, and his estranged wife Merle. Now, based on the fact that before passing, it was John's desire, this is, this is what I've been told, as a matter of fact, it was John's desire to be buried at National Heroes Park. However, that desire was denied due to the fact that his wife Merle refuses to give him a huge send-off despite the Jamaican government offering her and the family to give John a state funeral and burial at National Heroes Park. So Merle deny all I'm wishes and desires is what I'm hearing based on the fact that John give her born several times and she is a very hungry woman and grieving woman at this point in time. Now it's alleged that Merle has instead decided to give John a small cathedral funeral which costs nothing and bury him at the same location as his parents Dove cut. So, family, look here. Music news will keep you updated as we continue to keep it real on this story and more. I know many of you are saying, Really, Renee, that really are gone, but I'll keep you posted. A bag of mix up are going in a John shop, pun intended. For more deeds, check out live at 545. Yes, Muta. <laughs> yes, Muta. Yes, turn on the bike. Oh, yes. What, what is, is happening it? here? Because I realize that death is death and burial is burial. But if a man told you that he wanted to be buried in uh, the National Eos Park, I don't understand why his wishes is not carried out. Maybe he shall come and haunt them. I will meet you, my brother. There is serious issues being a happening. I'm going to mix the Pato and the African. There are serious issues being a happening between the sister Patsy and Merle. It is truly devastating for a legend that is John Holt. But John Holt is, 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 is not a, 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 a personal property of these people. John Holt is a national figure. And if his desire was to be planted in the burial places where Dennis Brown and Marcus Garvey and all these people are, I don't see why it should be not. I mean, if I told my wife and my children that I wanted to be buried in IRFM grounds here and they didn't put me there, it would be terrible. And what I'm saying to you is that in this village, the wife has the final say. And she yeah, I know, saying. I know. That, 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 that is a rotten problem. I know. That is I know, that's, that is a problem. <laughs> that's a pure problem. Look here. Yeah. Family, I'm not going to mix up a I'm not going to mix up, but I'll keep you posted because some matters are legal while some are getting it straight and real. Yeah, yeah. So, look here. For more needs, check out live at 545 for entertainment spotlight. This has been Music News with me, Mrs. Keep It Real, without apology. Your vibes, Queen Lady Renee. Yeah, JPS advised that its work crews will have to carry out emergency work at its Queen's Drive substation in St. James tomorrow, Friday, November the 14th, from 2 a.m. to 3 a.m. This results in a disruption in the electricity supply to the following areas of St. James. Gloucester Avenue, Margaritaville, Union Street, Market Street, Church Street, Strand Street, Arbor Street, sections of Barnett Street, Queen's Drive, Leader Avenue, Mango Walk, Albion, Green Pan, Montego Hill, Brandon Hill, Farm Heights, Catherine Mount, sections of Norwood, Salt Spring Road, Salt Spring, Cornwall Courts, Rosemount Garden, sections of Salem and surrounding areas. Well, people, the whole of St. James that I have like tomorrow, so it doesn't sound like the whole of St. James that. Anyway, GMPF advises that the company will make every effort to complete the repairs and restore the power supply to the affected areas in the shortest possible time. GPS thank customers for their patience. So that is a power cut thing. I really want to ask GPS why is it that in Temple Hall and surrounding areas that our electricity is angling us like it's pepper light business, blink, 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 blink. I mean, like every evening we have this Light on, light off, light on, light off. I don't know what is happening up there, so I don't know. I don't know if something can work away there. Anyway, step in. 
Yes. 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 Muta. Yes, Mr. Bridge. No. No, look at So, you know why? But if I remember yeah. what I mean. <laughs> but I remember telling you about the, the, the advertisement that go on in the rest of the car. But I remember telling you. Oh, you know what? I go to the hotel, you know, some of the day, I'm not take it easy, bro. Boy, I see you come down a West Street that at night and with how much people? 20 odd people. <laughs> I'm about 25. <laughs> no, I tell you. I mean, at the second time, I see you come down there, though. Yeah, yeah, it's a place where my, the first time I come down the bridge in, it's like we keep on advertising the party like it's my place. Yeah. Forever Young Sundays. See? Yeah. And when I come down the first time, I'm going to see the eye, I think, I'm thinking, and snow. Are you, are, you, are you never having no time when I can play the music there? <laughs> no, not to me, not the place. I'm here, the music, I look at me, I say, no, sir, so when I check a stop, I move to me, see people, I draw some breed up, soul tone. Three steps and two. And some thing. I say, but me never know, I move to know them style, eh? Oh, yeah, me, <laughs> oh, yeah, I say, man, we used to go to school, you know, where you talking about? I'm married to a baby, you know, move to a baby, I'm married to a baby, you know, I'm married to a baby, you know, I'm married to a baby, you know, I've been walking and advertising this party like it's my own because I tell people, say, yo, there's a place downtown by West Street, see? Forever Young Sunday. There's a place there, the tune them play out. The people, them, everybody in the party enjoy themselves, which is not something that you see often. Yeah. Nowadays, it's like one segment, some people about to dance and everybody will stand up and I look. Everybody will dance, everybody will vibe. I love the vibe. And I want to tell you, know, so, the woman, them no care if them not have no man to dance with them. They might jump from the people and dance play, themselves. You will play some move. So when me do, I start tell people. Yeah. So Sunday, we dip on the road, me and a bag of young people, seeing some girls and boys and things, because you don't know we are promoter, a movement named Skeptic. Yes, yes. Seeing? So we dip on the road, a promoter. So we go to a session and we finish about 12, yeah. uptown. And then we decide now to leave from this one now, to go somewhere else, and everybody has say, we are grown, so we are grown, so about four or five parties go on from the night there, you know. Yeah. See? Yeah. So we say, hold on, man. We have got to a place named Forever Young Sundays. Everybody look at me like a Spanish man talk. We say, you know, that place at the downtown, West Street. And right at the heart of the ghetto. <laughs> yeah, we say, eh. So, reluctantly, everybody pile up in the car, and the man would come and drive go down there. When we walk in at the place, the man look at him and say, boy, we never go to them type of party yet. Because we have talked about some young people in about 18 and 20 yeah. and 22 and them age, you know, see? To walk in and thing. And them, they didn't look kind of uncomfortable like them and say, but, we don't know because we can't dance, but we can't dance, but whatever. So with the day and thing and the music start, like, people move to America start, trap tune, see? <laughs> <laughs> and when they start playing um, one dance by this, you look and see them foot start move up, you know? Mm. You watch them, you know? Come here, see, I don't want to bore them people that is, yeah, see? Yeah. Them foot start move, see? And when they start trap selection and deep breath and some man start, you see them get up now and them start move and them start take time and punch me on one one, you know? <laughs> and I say, look, I have nice down here, nice. Yeah. I just see when they start turning up at them now. Well, I can't consider that they're going to find some rope to tie them down because they start going well, like some little bill coat all over the feet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, like, me like the dance. Like the but you want know, all the people, them respond to your dancing thing nice too. Yeah, well, as we say, we are promoting the whole scattered thing. Which is, you don't know the old time scat in a new style. So yeah. when snow start play and drop the scan out. Yes. Them run from stage and start And you go like you know, go dance to. We have to have food if you go dance with the youth. No, people, say what most of America after me did it. See it? I mean, people don't know me as a dance and a virgin. Like dance. No, it's a your dance, a your tune, a your dance. It's a person who knows the dance. So now I'm going to dance with them to them thing. You don't believe that most of America take them out. Tell the people running a virgin. And say, no music now I'm playing is richest even go past the to dance. So when me tip at the mic and say, yo, my motor, you know, say the real dance of them dance, let the people them do them thing. The crowd start chance to go dance. So you know, say you truly have a jump up there and start dancing. <laughs> 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 yo, yeah, I was seriously motor. Oh, I'm blessed up forever, young son. Yeah, yeah, man, John so I'm T, man. The people them. Yeah, I met the people who know say we enjoy ourselves because they might enjoy themselves so much that we never have a chance but to enjoy yeah. ourselves, though. You, understand? you know how my people, you know people free if you go down there? 
Me know them with them, that's why them use the kind of the preservation, but I make them know, say, nah, man, right yeah. now, you don't know, say, we're artists, and we are yeah. going anyway, because we don't have, we don't know trouble make artists. So we don't know. So we, we go down at the place, we go down at the place, we go in at the place, the people and welcome we, and the vibe was just amazing. You know, say, it. last week, last week, Junior Reed come down there for the first, and Junior Reed said, Muta, and this one I go on with downtown. I mean, never know that so much people downtown them was a night. I believe. <laughs> 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 you can't believe yeah, that so much people bought the downtown. The thing is amazing about the vibe down the bridging. Because when we walk in and see that the crowd there in the bridging. Mm. Now, the first, the, the first sun, it's, it's the first time we go forward down there. What's, it's what's, like, it's early and kind of leave early. Yeah, the, 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 the people have a party early. Aye. Yeah. So when we reach down there about 12.30, I go one now and see the place cram up. I said, no, sir. It remind me of House of Leo, maybe House of Leo days, back yes. in the days when yes, music, yes. this the nice and nice tough, music. Right? Yes. and tune up, now I'm slipped and I race to play in a tune, yes. tune up play, I hear the verse, them I go down and bridge come in and them things they make you feel like, yeah. nowadays yeah, when you go to the turn session and a tune play, and just the first verse, or a little piece of the chorus. Man, go with the music, the next music. music. You know, we, we, we want to hear the tune, man, because the second verse, sometimes, are the baddest verse. Yeah. You understand me? We are listening to hear that, and it's gone. So, when the music play them way, you know, and I, I did feel good for know, so then young people, they are proud. Yeah, hear the music. get a chance to see it happen a different way, and love it. Yes, and it's, and it's music where them mother would have listened to, too. But the man, they must sing every chorus. That's why I know them know them too <laughs> much. Great tunes in forever. They must sing every chorus yeah. and I go up in the ear. They not, you know, they don't see it, man. Oh, you mean, man? That's that's you know, it's so music powerful. I'm not talking about that now. DJ Snow have him screen there. Where any tune when play, him show you, him show you the artist video with the screen. See? So, well, that's that, that amazing to them. Them, they, they never watch and never say, but hold on, Dunya is far more than what we think. Because them feel like they are two little bucks about each up in a car and <laughs> two little people and must say where I go when them have certain other big parties of town where they would go and think. But when them come down, they them never disappointed the mood and you don't yeah, see man. the vibes. Them no, man, I know, I know people fright when them come down, man. They can't believe when them see when them come down, man. I love people. That's great vibes. I want to big up forever, young son, yeah, and make the promoter yeah, them know. So. Yeah, man. That's big great, up great DJ man. Snow. Big up DJ Snow and Muta Baruka. Trust me. We compliment no, one another. That's sweet. No, we love playing them. We love playing them. No, that's the reason why they want to come back and see all the girls that they have power with it. Yeah. Them wine to the baseline, them is a shame. We never see them dance and go on, so yes. All right, sir. Well, you are now. I, I, I catch part time. So we give thanks enough. We give thanks to big up in a janty. It's supposed to love all a big up. I believe you, me. Yeah, man. No respect to janty and the whole massive. Forever young. I guess that big lady, them Muta, you know, remember her name. Yeah, we don't want to see it. We don't want to see it. No, no gosh, man. Her. She don't get every Sunday, man. Every Sunday, she don't get. All right, give thanks. Yeah, Bridget. Let's talk, my brother. Yes, yeah, that was Richard Stevens. I give you some promotion there at different levels. <laughs> All right, click it. Yeah, step in, Razor. <laughs> there with you. You know, Razzle Dazzle from Donga, Darling Street, right there, so. Razzle Dazzle, I try to put the community together, clean up activities and building a dumping site. So, I'm have this thing Friday, November the 14th, which is tomorrow. So, I'm going present like different activities, music, Caveman International, Sun City Disco, Disc Jackies, and it's a, a big thing, clean up activities and building a dumping site. They might try to get some funds to build a dumping site right down there in the garrison. So, so Razzle Dazzle, why oh, you love Razzle Dazzle? In a long time in the region there, Razzle Dazzle. Okay, with the video, um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, take up your goods and run. So you go on at the garage, them, you know. Tell you, still, I'm still in the metro. Come here, you know, take up your things and run. Why oh, you love Sophia M? Sophia M do that tune, you know. To the people, them downtown, they so them are come. <laughs> okay, here we go now. Yes, blessed. Blessed is Muta. All right, man. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. You know, we, 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 we kind of... Um it's a point with the level of uh, 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 disillusion, you know, in the Jamaican, you know, population at this point in time, you know. You know, um, and, and, and misinformation, because, as I said, you know, find it out earlier, Jamaica from the 60s have a, have, have a great microbiologist. 
like Louis Grant, who did fund, foundation work on um, things like dengue fever, and, 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 made, the, and made the world know that, so yeah, his mosquito caused dengue fever, you know. The same bridge, you know, made the world know that, so yeah, his rat caused leptospirosis, yeah. you know. And at a time when time eat queen in, in syphilitis, he took over all of the, 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 the donkey and the heart and the mule, them in mm-hmm. St. Thomas and Portland. That Virgin instituted a quarantine for St. Thomas and Portland. So no equine can go in, in or out. Yeah. And it instituted a, 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 a thing where all the insects and were put together to control the, 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 the equine insulitis and save the heart population of Jamaica. Yeah. That, I, I, I think like that, where, where, where I and I should have carried on, build up on, and make the youth them know about Henry Grant. But everybody know about T.P. Lecky. But nobody know about the, 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 the black man look like yeah, well, you know, I want to tell you something, you know. We kind of all define it difficult for you all. If you agree with the scientists, you know, because if you find out, say, the scientists say that, and it's a Jamaican scientist, you know, people mm. still in them vain imagination about something else, because the people will show you, say, this is where I call something. And them scientifically are show it, and you start to tell them about some conspiracy theory around the corner, where, where, where don't really, you don't have no foundation and basis for, but just because you just know why I agree with that, because you feel, say, the people them who are say it cannot be trusted. You start to bring up some hyperluted argument about something else. That's a minute to hold on for the car. Again, with, 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 with another collusion, with this period of time, when Jamaica should be thinking, you know, as somebody sharp walking through the hill and meeting with the different um, leaders, meeting with the Maroons, the Manchester to get them on his side, and planning the rebellion in this season. You know, yeah. people start up looking at uh, 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 European madness. Yes, you know, yes. when we have real history, you know, and then nothing would make up, nothing where we are trying to put on on the body, but real history of something that happened. You know, this, this time of the year, of a man who died to save us all. Some shot. Yeah, yeah. some shot. Rebellion was planned in this time. I'm not even 30 years old. I'm not even 30 years old, I think. I'm in my 20s, late 20s. Yeah, man. And as a Christian man who should actually uh, 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 plan him in, in, in Christmas, because Christmas was around them time then. Yeah, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a big man in the Christmas, in, 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 in the Christian game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and he was at this time planning the rebellion with people like Robert Gardner. Against the government, against the government of Jamaica at the time, yes. Yeah, you know, and we spend this time now, before we try to focus our mind. You yeah, understand? And the man who died to save us all. The yeah. man who planned rebellion in this time. Yeah. You know, the focus him on Europe and you know, you know, you know. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So, you have to get to Yeah, man, we just want to get by the people them and I focus on what is real. Yeah. All right, Bridget, give thanks. All right, Black. Yes. You know, say a man asked me to play a tune early on. And we're going to play it right now. Believe you me, we're going to play it right now. Listen to this. Burning Spear. The man said we should have called the, the concert hall, the Burning Spear concert hall. And he tried to fool the black population. I and I will discuss about this matter. Yes, Burning Spear. Burning Spear, man. Jano dead. A big tune that for a long time, you know. It come in at the movie name Rockers. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, blessed man. Hello? Yeah, man. May I listen to you? Yeah, motor. Yes, sir. You know, you know, I'm serious with things, uh, portion no uh, go on. Yeah, it kind of want to feel that way at all. No, hear what happened. Because that's how she's in a Porsche. Let me tell you, man. She rather bear the embarrassment for say she don't know than bear the disgrace for no say she know about this full full deal with them and waste taxpayer money. You understand? I feel she know, man. They, them big deal that can go on and, and them the heads of government don't know about these things. That means so what kind of government are run? Well, and that means, you know, if she never know, that means that the whole and N- the, the NHD people are supposed to lose their work. Every last one of them. Yeah, all the people who are clean out the place, too. 
every last one of them. Because when you really check the government, there's no part of the government that's working. None. The only part of the government where I work are the part where I please the slave master them. The IMF and the lot of scam people them are foreign. Mm. That's the only two parts of the government where you see I work. Yeah. Them know for go scam, for go catch lot of scam. Them know for, for, for pass IMF test. Nothing else, you name it, in the government now where them can't pay them water bill, can't pay them light bill, can't pay them phone bill, can't pay them gas bill. Them can't control crime, them can't grow the economy, them can't, there's no part of this government that is working. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And she has got to come and talk. Oh, so she, she never first know. she say she see it in the media, but as she did say she not watch news. Yeah, you know well, what if I mean? you see it in the media, that means you read, you read it, you never did listen it. <laughs> <laughs> no, but she'll come and get um, all emotional about no man not talk to her like that. She don't use to no man talking to her like that. Mm. Poor she seems to forgot so everybody knows say she a warrior. And that's why she have to wear that hairstyle to cover the scar in her face. We represent the ghetto them as she war. And she have come talk about, oh, no man don't talk to me like that. If she can't take the heat, she forget out the kitchen. Uh, which part of the kitchen there? Parliament. The kitchen, the parliament, and the kitchen, man. If, 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 kitchen, <laughs> if, if that was kitchen, the good food without cooking there, man. Anyway, we have to move, Bridget. Respect. We have to move, yeah. Kitchen, not another kitchen. Believe you me. All right, what we there? I think I, I think I go fast for me, you know. <laughs> Yeah, who want to play the song for the man them out of St. Thomas there? Out of Bath, Errol, with the healing oil, preacher, I'm a millionaire, the coconut man, E. Thompson. E. Thompson, the coconut man, preacher, the farmer, and Errol, the healing oil man. Who want to heal you up? Yes. Yeah, brand new remix. Yes. I need come on, say, coming through with Angoli style. Yes. Step in. Bless it. Yeah, what I want him to Step in, Reza. Mm, I tell you, say, from a long, long time, I call a star. I'm a high can go through. You ain't go through, no man. Talk it up, man. You go through, man. What? Well, oh, well. <laughs> the man got it done. <laughs> yeah, step in. Where's Muta? Where are going? Blessed man. Yeah, Muta. Yes, ma'am. Yeah, where are going right now? You see that man over there trying to contact about posts and whatever. If you go there, you know, now I work with him, you know, he's a woman alone, you know. Mm. He's a sick man that's in company with a contact about poor shall he Oh, really? Oh, you know, say, man. man. No, oh, you know, say, him that. Oh, you know. Eh? Yeah, use the motions, man. Yeah, I better hold on good, you know. <laughs> you better hold yeah, on good, yes, blessed. Blessed love, hey, man. Yeah, man, I'm there. Yeah, man, you recognize the voice? No, but if you go and talk, me remember, me recognize it. Infinite blessings, man. Okay, all right, sir. I know it's the old soldier. What are you doing? The one, why you call me? Uh, well, be, all right, no, I'm not the old soldier then. All right, sorry, sir. Sorry. <laughs> no, man, I'm not asking objection to me. So I'm never here so clearly. Oh, I say old soldier, but if I don't have the old soldier, I may have the, the, the person wrong then. Yeah, last night, me yeah. Scan the radio channel and I'm stop by. Oh, me know who they, me know who I talk to me now. All right, all right. Yeah, me or you have play something about the church and religion and predating Judaism and yeah, 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 Egyptology yeah. and them things. Yeah, Bill Jenkins. Eh? Bill Jenkins, yeah, yeah. Bill Jenkins, that talk, yeah. Yeah, and um, Mr. said, you know, so when you have point, Musa Baruka. Some kind of ministerial position in the government to be the minister of research. In which government? In which government? Which government? Which government? Tell me which government. Well, you have to be in the government. They can't oh. actually have a, you know, a, a, a organization which is not directly reporting to mm. the politicians. But it's a, it's a 
organization what is res responsible for researching, whether it be cultural okay. and other stuff like this. Because I've told you once, and I've seen it to you again, mm. regardless of the differences of opinions and views, yeah. you do a pretty thorough research, more than the average personality me know for media. Mm. Mm. And I see you as a seeker of truth. You may not necessarily always get the answers right now. Mm. But I listen to the report in this particular documentary. Mm. And I'm saying that, where is Muta now? Is Muta saying that there is no God because of these little tapes? I never hear me answer the question. I never hear me answer the question. No, I never hear the answer. All right. A man did call, you know, and say some data down at OG. I said, Muta brainwash them. Brainwash the people them. Yes. And my question was, maybe them, them brain dirty, that's why it won't wash. But yes. I want to tell people that it's not that I don't believe in God. I don't believe in the God that is taught to me by this society. Yes. It's not that I don't believe in God, but the concept of God that I grew up with, I don't accept it. Fair enough, fair yes. enough. So, because at the end of the day, you must be able to have something that you can hold on to say, based on this, I'm able to take this position. And so far, the research that you have shown is that a lot of these religions and a lot of these bodies of information that have been evolved over the different centuries and thousands of years, they're actually cyclically re re repeating itself. Am I correct? Yeah, man. Well, keep repeating itself, of course. The Egyptians, the Hebrews, coming right down to Judaism, all yeah. of, this, all all of them. the idioms within yeah. Christianity, the same. Come so from what, Egypt. What yeah. in point, which one of you come across now? Is it, is it original, original? Is it, is it Ethiopia? Samira. Yeah, I remember yeah. Safari, I'm okay, I was a child of God, you know. Yeah, all right. Yeah, the whole of your child of God. Listen to what I'm saying now. The Sumerians and the Egyptians is where we start the history. That is where we are talking about. The Sumerians and the Egyptians. Because the Ethiopians apparently never actually write like all the Egyptians used to write. So a lot yeah. of the concepts that came out of Ethiopia was written as yeah. Egyptology. And the Sumerians will predate the Egyptians now. Is a next idea and concept that we have to contend with. But I would now start at Egypt, really, where we call Kemet. Yes. Because all of the Christian things, them, the, the Christians, where, where, where them say it's not symbolism, and it's really yes. symbolism, all of that have its genesis in other religious practices, other yes. religious that predate Christianity. Christianity yes. is the youngest one of all of them. Yes. Yes. So when we talk about Buddhism, Buddhism are 500 years before Christianity. Yes. Hinduism, Egyptology is thousands of years before Judaism too. Not just Christianity, but Judaism where Christianity be so powerful, some of it, 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 it arguments alpha. Yes. Yeah, so that is it. All right, we, 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 more to... To be, to be continued because obviously you only have a few minutes left in the yeah, program. And, uh, yeah, and we have to take another set of adverse with again. Yeah, and I, I want to prepare and come forward and present a reasonable argument where you can say, okay, we can discuss it. Because well, I've been telling you about the culture edge, I've been telling you about the culture edge, because the culture edge seems to have a longer time for talk. Yeah, true. On that, certain true subject, that. you know? Uh, bless up yourself, bless up yourself, bless up yourself. Yeah, man, give thanks, Bridget, give thanks. Hey, I do be. You hear about that new show with Lady Renee? Natural Mystic, Natural Mystic, Real People Only. I think the whole village has heard. Yes. <laughs> yes, Stephanie Reza is all going out as I know. Oh, I give thanks for money and give thanks for. Uh, Man look like him. He look like him. I work hard, but he don't really have the hard work. But he just look like it hard work. <laughs> Can I learn for the job? <laughs> the great O'Neill. We are telling you, O'Neill look like him. I work hard, you know, but we are telling you, busy, busy. Yes, busy like this basket of them. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, blessed man. Hey, the king. Blessed Rastafari man. Uh, Muta. Yes, sir. We have to talk with you, man, because we don't know how much credit we have left. Yeah, we don't know how we can't support it neither because the, the, the program's so done. Yeah. Mm, me, 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 me make a sound at this conference where just a go on at the Pegasus in regards to getting this thing up and getting it up quickly. What? Get up, what? 
the 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 the, the, the guns are thing, man, because that's what, that's all the that's all the book blockers are going on, you know. How much can plant? How much a man can plant? And all them sitting there. Mm. If they want to get this thing up proper, they need to get everybody interested. Now to get everybody interested, this brother from you cannot talk about not millions or billions, but trillions of dollars in this year place, you know. Mm. Now what I suggested to them now. Same like how through brother Mama or Gaddafi run it, run the aisle thing in Libya, mm. where everybody upon the island gets shares, cause we are talking about funny money now, you know, trillion. Mm. So why not make everybody on this island a shareholder in the Ganja market? Mm. It will give them the incentive to research, to look into it, and to find different ways of bringing in the revenue. And we just spread it out amongst you. We can't lose. And it's a level up. And this is what we're here to do. Level the black side playing field and get them corporate entities off the planet, man. Uh, Hear what the I say. Well, I mean, if it can work, make it work. Well, it must can work, man. It must can work. And like me say, it will give the people incentive. And go and cheer yourself, yeah, man. Find the God vibration. And I is real, you know. And I have a serious work for the rest of this planet. Yeah, we die of the right wrongs. That's what it's all about. Everything else is an illusion. Everything else. All right. They can't throw backside no bandit upon this wound, yeah, my brother. All right. Rights have to be wrong. Yeah, man. Give thanks, Bridget. Give thanks. Yeah, king. Yes. Okay. So, we give thanks to the moment and the time and the energy. We want to say, we're going to be again next week, Wednesday, from 2 to, sorry, from 10 to 2. In the night, that is, from 10 to 2, we're going to be there with you. And we know, say, it's going to be a wonderful program next week. I will give thanks to all the people them who called about the last, last night program. You understand? So, those tapes that we play, that we used to play, I will keep playing them over and over. It's amazing that so much people call. It's like, when we play them all the third time, more people call about it than when it called when they played first. And we are the things that we for people who are listening to coaching, they don't hear it already, but you have, we have to take into consideration and say, you have a whole heap of youth like all of Neil, when never used to the boat when coaching go on. I know him the boat, but him still not listen. <laughs> he listen every night. All right. Oh, and she not listen. She not listen. Money not listen. Okay. Yes. So, here we know. As some Bob Marley tune, cover tune we have to play, you know, you know, and go out with it. Some covers where Bob Marley go on with I mean, where people go out with, with Bob Marley songs, sorry. This is some songs where people cover of Bob Marley. That is what we are saying. Here goes. Yeah, we want to tell you that a group of artists will be playing tribute to John Holt this Friday at Exodus Studio, Red Hills Road. That is a group of artists coming together to pay tribute to John Holt. Friday at Exodus Studio, Red Hills Road. Yeah, long time tune from the Paragons, John Holt style. Yeah, this is the Stepping Rays and a gun, we gone, you know. A gun, we gone. Yeah, 545 News Time. Good afternoon. It's Thursday, November 13. I am Cherie Hay. And I am Primrose Oliver. From IRFM's News Center, here are the headlines. Youth Ministry employee charged in relation to $5 million fraud investigation. Additional charges laid against former Kuloasis employee jointly charged with a St. Anne businessman in alleged multi-million dollar fuel racket. Meeting planned for tomorrow to air grouses of Jamaican pilots attached to Caribbean Airlines. St. Anne police intensify probe into brutal killing of a woman and the wounding of another in Steertown. And coming up in sports, Pacers Keno Wallace and Marquino Mindley are the two new players in Jamaica's team to face the Winwood Island. Islands, volcanoes and the start of the professional cricket league at Sabina Park tomorrow. Now the details. At least 34 additional charges have been laid against the former Cool Oasis employee jointly charged with a St. Anne businessman in relation to an alleged multi-million dollar fuel racket.
The Andrew Games of Tower Isle St. Mary had previously been charged with 29 counts of fraud. Police say the businessman, 39-year-old Hansley Berry, is also expected to be slapped with additional charges. Bail has been denied for Berry and Gibbs, who have been in lockup since last week. They are scheduled to return to court on December 1. Sasha Gay Laban reports. The alleged fuel racket reportedly took place over a one-year period. This morning, detectives from the major organized crime and anti-corruption agency MOCA slapped Berry's accused DeAndre Gibbs with an additional 17 counts of falsification of accounts and 17 counts of conversion. Miss Gibbs had been charged last week with 29 counts of falsification of accounts, 29 counts of conversion and conspiracy. Meantime, Hansel Berry, who is charged along with Miss Gibbs, is also expected to be slapped with new charges arising from the same period last year. Mr. Berry is already facing 29 counts of receiving stolen property and conspiracy. Mocha investigators say the new charges are in relation to discrepancies with the accounts at Cool Oasis between October and December last year and amounts to $30 million. The charges laid earlier related to the period from January to September this year when $73 million was said to be defrauded from Cool Oasis. The investigative unit says more charges are likely to be laid against the two once an audit at the company is completed. In the meantime, resident magistrate Vaughn Facey has denied bail for Mr. Berry and Ms. Gibbs who have been in custody since early last week. On Tuesday of this week, one of the attorneys representing the two accused, Oswest Senior Smith, made a bail application before RM Facey in the Sentence Bay RM Court. The judge, however, reserved his ruling in relation to their bail until today. But when the case was called up in court, the RM, in a written ruling, said the charges against the two were serious and that he had to deny them bail. In addition, RM Facey said the investigation into the case was incomplete and that he was concerned that Miss Gibbs would be a flight risk. Miss Gibbs, the court was told earlier this week, was taken off a flight destined for Canada after she was spoken to about the irregularities at her job and that a probe was underway. The prosecution claims she was attempting to flee the jurisdiction to avoid prosecution. Mr. Senior Smith indicated to the court that that he would be taking his application regarding the bail for his clients to the Supreme Court. Mr. Berry, who is being held at the Claremont Police lockup, was not present in court. However, the ruling was made in the presence of one of his lawyers, wife, and co-accused. The two were remanded into custody until December 1, when the matter will again be mentioned. The prosecution is alleging that both Mr. Berry and Miss Gibbs were involved in a fuel racket that cost Cool Oasis approximately $100 million. Reporting for RFM News, I'm Sasha Gil Laban. The police have charged the youth ministry employee held in relation to a $5.5 million fraud investigation at that ministry. Transport manager Michael Baxter has been charged with forgery, falsification of document, access with intent to defraud and larceny. He is to appear before the court on November 25. Warren Bertram has that report. It's alleged that Mr. Baxter was found to be forging documents stating that the vehicles used by the ministry were allotted gasoline at times when they did not receive the petrol. It's further alleged that the accused falsified other documents and forged other employee signatures to cover up the discrepancies. The fraud squad says according to an audit done, the employee was conducting these actions between November 2013 and August this year. It's estimated that within the audit period, the total money gained from the fraud is about $5.5 million. The police say it's possible for Mr. Baxter to have been carrying out these activities before November 2013, but an audit would have to be done by the youth ministry to determine that information. Reporting for RFM News, I am Warren Bertram. The St. Anne police have intensified their investigations into the brutal killing of a 24-year-old woman and the wounding of another by masked men at a bar in Steertown last evening. Dead is Anika Morgan, otherwise called Nikki, while her wounded cousin, who has been admitted to hospital, has undergone surgery and is in stable condition. 
Police say the Steertown area is under 24-hour surveillance as they comb the community for clues in connection with yesterday's shooting incident. Reports reaching IRFM News are that sometime after 8 o'clock last evening, Morgan and her cousin were at the bar operated by relatives. The bar is located at the Steertown Bridge. It is alleged that a group of gunmen approached the business establishment and opened fire at the patrons. IRFM News understands that the girl's family house was shot up by gunmen some three weeks ago. Police are yet to establish a motive for the gun attack. A 54-year-old nurse was shot dead after she was abducted in St. James last night. She has been identified as Janice Larmond Wilson, a practical nurse of Pleasant View, St. James. Reports that the nurse and a child accompanied to a friend to a location outside of Montague Bay about 8 o'clock. When they were heading home later that night, the two were abducted by men traveling in a black Toyota motor car. The nurse and the child were taken to White House in the parish where she was shot twice in the head by her abductors. Police say this occurred about 10 o'clock. The child was released unharmed. The Labour Ministry has arranged a meeting for tomorrow to air the grouses of Jamaican pilots attached to Caribbean Airlines' Kala. The meeting is scheduled for 10 a.m. The Jamaica Airline Pilots Association, JAPA, has served a 72-hour notice of industrial action on the airline and also notified the Labor Ministry of its intent. The notice expires about 3 p.m. tomorrow. Jeline Pearson reports. An officer of JALPA explains that the issue relates to the holding of a bargaining rights poll. The over 40 pilots are members of JALPA, but the group does not have bargaining rights with Caribbean Airlines. The JALPA official explains that in December 2011, almost three years ago, JALPA served a claim on Caribbean Airlines for representational rights for its members based in Jamaica. The association says to date, a bargaining rights poll has not been held, as the Trinidad-based airline has not been in cooperating. This has deprived the Jamaican-based pilots of being represented by a trade union. The JALPA official says Caribbean Airlines wants the pilots to be represented by a Trinidad-based trade union. Meantime, JALPA's attorney, Gregory Reed of Zaidi Reed and Company, says the pilots hope that progress will be made at tomorrow's meeting at the Labor Ministry. Reporting for IRFM News, I am Jeline Pearson. Former caretaker for Northwest St. Anne, Othniel Lawrence, has taken court action against the Jamaica Labour Party, JLP, following receipt of a letter from the party saying he is no longer the caretaker for the constituency. He has named opposition leader Andrew Holness and JLP General Secretary Dr. Harris Chang in the suit. Natalie Campbell has more. Mr. Lawrence is seeking general and aggravated damages against them. He is contending that Mr. Holness and Dr. Chang are not empowered under the constitution of the JLP to remove him as the caretaker and candidate of Northwest St. Anne. Mr. Lawrence says a letter sent to him on November 5, written by Dr. Chang, saying that he was removed, is illegal and null and void. He is seeking a declaration that he, Othni Lawrence, as the caretaker and the last approved candidate, is entitled to sit on the party's central executive. Mr. Lawrence is also seeking an injunction to prevent Mr. Holness and Dr. Chang from taking steps to remove him from the constituency and the central executive. He says the party had focus groups to evaluate his performance. However, Mr. Lawrence said he was not comfortable with that and he would pay for a professional poll. But he said the party was not interested in any more polls and therefore recommended that Mr. Lawrence no longer be considered the caretaker for the constituency. Mr. Lawrence has said he is being victimized because he was a supporter of Audley Shaw in the JLP leadership race earlier this year. He is being represented by attorney at law Hugh Wildman. It is believed that Mr. Lawrence has been replaced by four former mayor of St. Anne's Bay and PNP councillor Ivan Anderson, who recently joined the JLP. Reporting for Irie FM News, I am Natalie Campbell. In the meantime, Othney Lawrence says he is making no comment at this time about his future in representational politics or the action he is taking in court over his ouster as caretaker for Northwest St. Anne. When IRFM News contacted him today, Mr. Lawrence said he was waiting on communication from his party. 
However, he would not go beyond that, but acknowledged that he had gone to court over his removal as caretaker. Sources say Mr. Lawrence received a letter this week from the JLP General Secretary, Dr. Horace Chang, in which he was informed that he was being removed as caretaker in the constituency he served as MP between 2007 and 2011. Mr. Lawrence's position was said to be insecure for months now, but came under focus after it emerged last weekend at a JLP divisional conference that former PNP councillor and Mayor Ivan Anderson was seeking to represent the JLP in Northwest St. Anne. The seat is now represented by Dr. Dayton Campbell for the PNP. The St. Mary Parish Council says it is still awaiting an allocation of funds to aid in Chick V cleanup activities in the parish. Speaking at the monthly meeting of the council today, Chairman and Mayor of Port Maria, Levan Freeman, says the council has taken the initiative to start training personnel to carry out fogging activities. Mr. Freeman says $5 million should have been allocated to the parish to aid in the Chick V cleanup activities. He states that the council should have received at least half of the money yesterday, but checks revealed that the money has not yet been disbursed. Formulate a plan to train some persons based on the recommendation of the respective all 13 council. They said it's actually, we are supposed to get five, five million. I got a correspondent that they have submitted 50% to their uh, accounts department to be processed, to be made available to the council. As late as yesterday afternoon, about four, none was deposited to their accounts. But nevertheless, we are um, being proactive. We went ahead and had a three-day training. Chairman of the St. Mary Parish Council and Mayor of Port Maria, Levan Freeman. He adds that there are plans to carry out fogging exercises for at least 20 days in the communities most affected by mosquitoes. In the meantime, JLP Councillor for the Hampstead Division, Barton Oliver, says the cleanup activities in the parish have started a bit too late after majority of people have been severely impacted. My concern about the Chick V plan is that what have happened Nearly 90% of St. Mary have cashed Chick V. And it's after they have cashed the Chick V, they are, it was Monday. They start some training as some personnel because the $5 million was announced. I've not, not come on to the, to the parish until now. JLP Councillor for the Hampstead Division, Barton Oliver. The St. James Parish Council has ordered the eviction of individuals who use the People's Arcade along Howard Cook Boulevard as their private dwelling. This follows a report from the National Solid Waste Management Authority, NSWMA, of a potential health hazard at the facility. At today's monthly meeting of the St. James Parish Council, Mayor of Montego Bay, Glendon Harris, gave instructions for the Superintendent of Roads and Works to have those residents living in the arcade removed. He says removing them will stem any potential health hazard that may arise from the facility. Mayor Harris is also of the view that part of the unacceptable unacceptable activities that are taking place at the arcade is what he calls acts of criminality that could give the police serious challenges to curtail if not tamed now. So the first step, superintendent, is to block off that gate. And we, uh, we do as well collaborate to ensure that the residents be evicted from that place. It cannot, it cannot be because there are no sanitary facility inside of there. It is harboring all kind of people which will give Superintendent Champagne a lot of trouble. Mayor of Montego Bay, Glendon Harris. Meanwhile, the NSWMA in its report to the council this morning says it wants the health department to visit and rectify what it calls a potential health hazard at the People's Arcade. Public Health Inspector Patrick Gilchrist says the discovery was made during a recent visit to the facility due to an increase in the disposal of solid waste along the Howard Cook Boulevard. We have noticed in recent that there is an increase in solid waste coming out of the facility onto the highway. Okay, we are the solid waste have been cleaned twice per day. The, a lot of these vendors are also that occupy the facility brings the waste onto the side of the highway and to the facility. When we visited they realized that people are actually living inside the facility and they have no of empty shops and places in a serious mess. I think that public health needs to also 
visit the facility to examine to see what the situation is, is there. Public Health Inspector in St. James, Patrick Gilchrist. The St. Thomas Parish Council has moved a resolution to issue notices to people who have allowed their property to be overgrown with bushes. Failure to do so could result in those people being charged by the council to clear their lands or be dragged before the court. The Deputy Mayor of March Bay, Edwin Marr, at a town hall meeting in Port Morant last night, said he has moved a resolution for the action. Mr. Marr further stated that those individuals will be given one month in which they should bush properties or face the consequences. He said failure to do so would result in the bushing of the property by the parish council, following which the property owners will be given a bill for the work done. Mr. Marr warned that all property owners who fail to pay the bill for bushing would be taken to court. The St. Anne-based Ferncourt High School today officially launched its sixth form program with the opening of a new block of classrooms. The block is named after Principal Reverend Lenwood Sterling and was completed with savings from the school after Ministry of Education funds dried up for that purpose years ago. Mr. Sterling said the school had long outgrown its capacity to, po- to the point that it now has to capacity campuses. He spoke about the school's achievements. Because of the increase in the population, we started out in 2007 with the intention of putting up seven additional classrooms. We got to three classrooms and then there was a change of government and our plans went on hold until we discovered that the numbers were just not going to be contained within the few classrooms that we had. And so the board decided that we would pursue in using savings here at the school along with funds from our canteen to erect new classrooms. Principal of Frankfurt High, Reverend Lenworth Sterling. Meantime, guests speak at the launch. Education Minister Reverend Ronald Thwaites reminded children, especially girls, to value education, pointing out that in some societies, girls were unable to access schooling or were under threat in doing so. Member of Parliament for South East St. Anne, Lisa Hanna, participated in the ribbon cutting to officially open the new block for the sixth form program that started in September. And with that story, we have come to the end of the local news.